everybody we have a world series winner our 2021 championship belongs to the atlanta Braves. so congratulations to atlanta congratulations to their fans it was a heck of a postseason very fun i did call whoever would win would win in six but that really means nothing in the grand scheme of things it was a very exciting postseason and i'm already ready for catchers and pitchers to report to spring training in the meantime to kind of conclude the regular and the postseason of major league baseball conclude the season we will be having one more stream detailing the postseason event i am 15 wins away from that second player rewind pack i don't really expect to get there at least not today i know the event ends up early on friday we'll see what happens of course if i can make some room today maybe i can play offline tomorrow evening to kind of finish that up uh, but regardless we will be celebrating today let me just refresh everything on my end and then i will pull up chat and we'll get this party started what's up packers what's up t red braves and six for sure playing some nhl for a bit holler if you need it sounds good bunk have fun have fun 15 oh today let's go i agree t red i agree ed well how about them braves gg to the squad for sure what's up dresslin i'm doing well thank you for asking everything is great i hope you are doing great as well how are all of you doing long time no see i have a very busy week i've been studying for an exam i'm working on an essay uh next week will be a lot better because next week i really want to have a super mario uh, superstar stream obviously mario kart will sh shortly follow i do want to uh, integrate and incorporate the switch more and more i really enjoyed the couple pokemon snap streams we had with our partnership with gamestop i would like to keep the switch in i'd be very excited about that but my day is going well i hope you are all doing well what's up angel what's up jw i did hear about the whole aaron Rodgers news uh, we can definitely discuss that if you wish. Fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. Packers fan already knows. GG's Astros. Absolutely, Marty. Hope you're doing well. You just had to write an essay too. It's rough there, Squag, right? It is It is rough, but we're, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. I'm doing well, Harrison. How are you? Welcome on in. Also, by seeing Distant writing a very important cover letter for a very important potential position, best of freaking luck to you, T-Red. Get that cover letter done, and then best of luck to you in your future endeavors with what that cover letter is going toward. That's very, very exciting. Absolutely. Yo, what's up, Mercs? We are not doing any friendlies today playing the event, but welcome on in. Glad to have have you in chat good besides on sunday yeah tom brady a lot of pick sixes how you feeling over there harrison are you a little nervous no 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 i'm just playing with you it happens um who am i going for or who was i going for in the world series honestly i truly didn't care which was weird because usually um i do wish to have one team win one team lose i was kind of rooting for atlanta so that they can get their first ring in what 25 plus years it's been since what was it 95 was their last one so a little longer than that um, so that was pretty exciting for Atlanta. Houston, they're just a very talented team. It'd be nice to see them get a ring, another ring. Uh, but I am really was not going to be upset with either outcome. Very happy for Atlanta. GG's to Houston as well. Mario Party Superstars makes you so very angry sometimes. The games can be so rigged, Sam. Absolutely. We will be playing it on stream. And um, I will want to play with the viewers. So, of course, when it comes near, feel free. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Um, I've been asking people to put in their Switch friend codes in discord i still need to add some people i'll do that i'll probably do it closer when we have a super mario or a mario party superstar stream i also want to play mario kart uh, but we will be having to switch more and more especially once mlb the show content kind of dies off as we prepare for the next iteration uh merc sosa thank you for that follow welcome in the sand squad welcome on in good afternoon everyone what's up mikey b how we doing badger trio uh what is up 26 years i was one year off i said 25 but thank you josh and packers yo what's up wise gg congratulations to the atlanta braves don't remind me of 95 good afternoon she's had how are you doing today to be honest though we struggle with games versus the saints your show will bounce back especially with the bye week this week absolutely ggs Corey go brave says josh gotta watch game six at truest park at a watch party yo i heard about that that is dope very exciting stuff that stadiums do that i know they did it for nba as well that's awesome stuff let's go braves also you're debating whether you should get it i definitely recommend mario party robo nick it's really really fun i will be streaming it it's just really hard this week because i have a lot of school responsibilities that i'm working on outside of stream i should have more time next week to have our first of hopefully many mario party uh mario party streams in which of course i will be playing with viewers if you want to consider it no um pressure at all to get the game if you do not wish to absolutely what's up atlanta yo fight on 
one with the 11 month resub one month away from a year but there's nothing like the present fight on thank you thank you thank you and welcome back on into the sand squad sub family keep on enjoying those emotes and sub badges thank you so much for the continued support how are we doing fight i hope you're doing well so layers the world series mvp i'm very excited about his mvp card that we will or postseason card that we will be getting in this game it's going to be awesome happy to see you're on you woke up to awful rogers news i swear packers can't catch a break i i was very very frustrated for i'm sure you, you know the reasons obviously detailing back to um how he worded his answer uh in august uh, we'll see when he makes a statement right now i'm the biggest jordan love fan i'm very excited to see what jordan love will be able to display on sunday on the same note i hope rogers kurt benkert and um uh joe barry and Devonte adams who those two should be hopefully back tomorrow the best of recoveries of through this uh illness um yeah boys thank you so much for that follow welcome to the sand squad if you want any other switch recommendations clubhouse games is a good game to play with viewers i will look into that robo if you want to drop that name in discord so i don't forget i would appreciate it if not i will do my best to remember Remember? absolutely let's go sports let's go angel jordan love should play with bortles as the backup they should get most of the wide receivers yeah jordan love is confirmed the starter blake border blake bortles is uh going to be the backup you're right looking forward to jordan jordan love start same here same here howdy 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 post hope you're doing well now here's the dreaded lockout are you talking about um the baseball season since it's officially over it could definitely happen ron washington finally won a world series ring makes you so happy you miss him in texas amazing guy and manager funny is they just said rogers wasn't vaccinated now he has covid uh weird how that happens wait funny as i just said rogers wasn't vaccinated now, wait what do you mean by that Corey? like yeah yes he's unvaccinated and he has covid what do you mean like weird how that happens i, I could be missing something right now you're a braves and a houston fan because of the rivalry they had in the 80s and 90s Ooh, respect so who are you going for are you upset with the outcome are you fine with the outcome then six defensive coordinator yeah joe barry should be there too bet what channel should drop that in up oh! what general video games general games i think the channel's called feel free to do that absolutely braves finish the job so many braves cards coming excitement overlook we do have a good amount of braves on this team um if we get two losses today we can definitely make an all braves team for this postseason event um i considered working on like that jack-o-lantern conquest map that of course came out a couple of days after halloween i'm still trying to figure out who thought that was a good idea but at least it's here we get experience for the inning program uh, we might end stream doing that depending how these games go and zach attack with the 10 month resub what is up happy 10 months i hope you're doing well thank you thank you thank you zach holy cow and welcome back on into the sand squad sub family keep on enjoying those emotes and sub badges and thank you so much for the continued support zach double freaking digits that's incredible i appreciate you i clicked on an ad i didn't click on an ad i i did not yeah thank you robo i appreciate that they put a story out the other day maybe i missed that you were thinking freddie freeman was gonna get mvp also but slayer did a good job oh for sure boys for sure i'm very glad uh freddie got that ring earned that ring of course very excited stuff absolutely it was interesting to find out the braves head coach was facing his son in the world series it's always cool to see how those storylines are mixed absolutely what's up tex thank you for the follow welcome to the sand squad that's a great way to start stream with a little lead off perfect perfect single for tommy edmund okay okay I see you all, the Jones boys. Yo, what's up, Avid Runner? I told Ramon it would be a good idea. Dang it, Ronald! Uh, to launch that conquest map the Tuesday after Halloween. So we can play we can blame DeGroosh is what DeGroosh is saying for the delayed Halloween map. I see you, DeGroosh. You better be careful. I'm gonna come after you now. Nah 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 nah. <laughs> Ron Washington finally won a World Series 44 years in Major League Baseball. I was very, very happy for him. We're having really good swings on the baseball right now. Unfortunately, two outs to follow. Yo, what's up, Tax? I'm doing well. How are you? Thank you for asking. Happy Wednesday, Remarkable. Well, now Houston fans are left watching the Texans and the Rockets. That's rough. Tommy Edmund, event god. Event and BR god. I always try to pick up his live series card when available in BR. It's just, it's awesome. Really, any Tommy Edmund card is fantastic. But it's so weird that the baseball season is over. We'll see uh, how free agency picks up in the nearing days. It's okay. I blame DeGroosh for most things. You're not wrong. Ban myself. Wow. Thank you for taking the liberty to do that, DeGroosh. I appreciate it. It, may, it makes it less awkward for me when I have to ban you. You did the job for me. 
Dergouche is like, hey. Ooh, there wasn't really any need for that transfer, but we got the out regardless. You cannot believe you called the Braves to win the World Series in six games. GG's there, K Dog. Who was it? Wasn't it uh, Trevor Plouffe who called it at the start of the postseason? And had he put down a bet, he would have been, what, like an, an extraordinary millionaire just based on that single bet had he placed uh, when he called Braves in six over the Astros. Pretty, pretty incredible. Riders Republic, is that a game there, sports? Hope you enjoy it if it is. It's really weird, does not feel long ago you're watching. Hold on. Make the play, Lance, thank you. Uh, you were watching the Dodgers versus Rockies on opening day. It's crazy, Robo, how fast time goes. No more meaningful baseball to April. You're sad, I'm sad too, remarkable. Dang, rude. Now you can watch more Celtics, you guess, but that's been a bit upsetting lately. Ooh, I hope you enjoyed sports. You're gonna take a nap, but just wanna say hi. I appreciate you saying hi, nap. Uh, hi, Zach, enjoy the nap. Absolutely, now looking forward to the CBA. Ooh, I'll take that hit. I'll take that hit. Uh, CBA renegotiations this offseason will probably be rough. I agree. I do think I do think there will be a baseball season played. I do think it will start on time, though it might not seem like it will. Uh, but we'll see what happens, of course. I, I agree with you there, Josh. Yo, what's up, Big D? Hopefully all is well. Ooh, that was such a hittable slider that I missed. That's a home run pitch. Hi, Nap. Enjoy the Zach. Then a 9% chance to make the playoffs at the All-Star break. Isn't that crazy, Core? It reminds me of the Nationals in 2019. Uh, with their record around the All-Star break, uh, pretty awesome stuff for both franchises, Washington in 2019, and then, of course, the Braves right now. That's going to be a nice little double. 79 speed. I'll keep him at third. We were almost out on second base. Oof, that was rough. Incredible Brave season, absolutely. Big GGs to the franchise and their fans. Very exciting games. Yo, my day's going well, Red Sox guy. How was your day? Did I say that Drake wants Toronto to get a WNBA team? I did, and I hope they do. They definitely deserve one. Yo, thank you, Joe. Hope you're doing well. Thought it was bad enough getting base around it with all the daily moments packs only to see they've been replaced with no sell cards you've had locked into collections for months. I agree, Brady. I actually just looked at the daily moments right before stream. I, I, I did catch up. I did catch up on the daily moments. But I finally looked at the program today. And I'm kind of like, is there going to be something for us who ha Is that a homer? Is that going to stay fair? Yo! Off the pole! Let's go! Kike Hernandez! Fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. Let's go. Wow. Okay. Okay. Back to the point I was talking to Brady about. I, I caught up with the Daily Moments program just a little bit ago, and I was surprised to see all those duplicates. I mean, I think it's a good thing for players who don't have the cards if they want them, especially for hopefully a new collection coming. Um, however, I do think there needs to be some sort of exchange rate for players who already have those cards. Obviously, I guess you can use them for TA5 exchanges, which is probably oh. something I'm going to do, but some stubs could be nice as well, you know? And yesterday's NFL trade deadline was so boring, to be honest. Forgot its deadline to yesterday. I kind of did too, to be honest with you. Are you thinking the baseball season is going to start in June? I do think the baseball season starts on time, but I do think it's going to be a pretty grueling, I don't know if that's the right word, uh, off season. But we'll see what happens, of course. You read Oakland might get one too. The, the, they will play at Chase Center. Oakland will get what to and why? Maybe I missed something there. Shout out to Jock Peters for getting his back to back rings right. That's a good point. National tweeted out that Houston's Visitor Clubhouse is a fun place to celebrate the World Series win. I saw that. I saw that. Thank you all for the fireworks. They won the division three years in a row before they won it again this season, but people were doubting because Acuna Jr. went down. You've been a brave fan since 93. You had your doubts too. Can't even lie, but I knew the team was so good. Yeah, I saw many Atlanta fans who were like, hey you know when Acuna went down I kind of lost faith but of course they still watched the team they still rooted for the team and they are reward they were rewarded last night for doing so very awesome fun stuff absolutely you can't use the cards now for exchanges so hopefully they change it you can't use them for exchanges then like what are then the daily the daily moments program makes no sense if you can't at least use the cards for exchanges Hopefully they fix it, but that's actually kind of ridiculous if you can at least use the duplicate cards for exchanges. That's weird. Is that really true? Wow. You feel bad that Rogers caught COVID? Yeah, it, it definitely sucks. You definitely hope he feels better. Um, however, the way with how he addressed his vaccination status when asked in August is definitely very, very questionable. I mean, at the very least, he was honest okay. with the clubhouse. He was honest with the organization, which you should be honest and open with your co with your coworkers. 
Um, but with how he handled it and how he phrased his answer, he knew he was being deceitful. He knew he was deceiving uh, the general public. And for that, I'm interested to see how he handles it because he will have a post, he will have a press conference soon, uh, whether it's on the McAfee show, whether it's when he's back and healthy, hopefully. Uh, but I'm very intrigued to see how that goes. If you, you Trevor Plouffe, Trevor Plouffe, Ploof out ratios Bob Nightingale. That is that is honestly quite something, isn't it? If you're gonna out ratio a Bob. Yo, what's up, dude? Food. Oh, gotcha. And well, yes, I definitely hope they do. That'd be really, really fun. The fall bundle had a no sell 42 pack, but it let you quick sell the card. Interesting. I need to get that. I have not gotten the fall bundle. I think it expires in January. I thought that was funny how it's called the fall bundle, but it expires in January. I will make sure to get it. But good, good to know, good to know. Riders Republic is an extreme sports racing game, which is which is so, trust me, you're going to love it. I'm going to love it. Um, I don't plan on getting the game. I mean, if I do, I would hope I would like a game that I get, but I hope you enjoy it since you have the game there, sports. As a diehard Mets fan, you're not happy for the Braves. That is, that is understandable. As a diehard White Sox fan, I was not happy for the Cubs in 2016. That is so rough right there. So rough right there. Uh, luckily, Kike had that three-run shot. Am I right or am I right? You can use it for exchanges if you don't lock it in. There's a duplicate you can use for exchanges. Okay, okay. So don't lock in the duplicate. That's what I thought. So thank you for that clarification. <laughs> don't run on me. Don't run on me. Yo, what's up, Coogs' dad? I mean, these athletes don't really need to tell us anything they don't want to. Their privacy is their privacy. Us being fans and nerds, yes, but he chose to answer the question. He could have said, hey, I'm not going to answer it. He did answer the question, and based on what he said, he knew what he was doing as he omitted those words from his mouth. And he said, yeah, I'm immunized. First, he said, yeah. He was specifically asked, hey, are you vaccinated? He said, yeah. I'm immunized. Um, there's a lot to dissect with just those three words. But you're right. He could have said, nah, I don't wanna I don't wanna answer the question. But he did. And there's consequences either way. There's consequences for lack of action, and there are consequences for actions. And remember, consequences are both positive and negative. We're down by one. Oh, we're up by one now. Exactly, Corey. Exactly. Yo, what's up, Dirt Dog? This average Wednesday is now a great Wednesday. Hope you're enjoying uh, the big victory last night. Very exciting stuff. I just realized I have not brought in. Oh, wait, no, never mind, never mind. Singing something else there. Yo, what's up, Clay? Hope you're doing well. Bunt dancing nonsense. Where we're trying there, Angel. First game of stream, so you know we gotta win it because it, it counts 100%. <laughs> How could it be happy for the Cubs in 2016? It's the flipping dumpster fire of sports with the exception of 2016 because I'm a White Sox fan who was tormented by Cubs fans in high school during that moment. It was terrible. <laughs> I feel like if he doesn't answer the question, it might be a worse situation from what people are saying. I feel like there'd be a lot of speculation if he didn't answer the question. Very true. Uh, but he did answer the question. He was deceive, uh, deceitful Excuse me, um, in his answer. Um, like I said, it's going to be very intriguing to see what or if uh, or how he answers questions that we know are going to be coming next time uh, he's up at the podium. There we go, Acuna. Much better than your double play earlier in the first inning. Bunk with the raid! Bunk! Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing? Oh my goodness, y'all. You know the deal. Please click that link. Drop Bunk a follow. Fantastic human being. How was the hockey, Bunk? How was the hockey? Hope it all went well. What's up, Joker? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Sand Squad. We need some insurance runs against Blake Snell here. That's not going to drop for a hit. Dang it, I was hoping it was going to drop for a hit. <laughs> Is it the Preds fan bunk or the Leafs fan bunk? Bunk's a Leafs fan now? I think it's got to be Leafs fan bunk for sure. Yo, what's up? Hate waits. Not a fan of waiting myself, but you just have to have some patience. But thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Sand Squad. We gotta lock this game down. Hockey was good, took longer than I wanted. Da -da 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 -da. Reds offseason starting hot. Just traded Trucker Tucker Barnhart to Detroit. Tyler Stevenson season is officially here. There we go. They can beat the Chiefs like they beat the Cardinals, but it's gonna be tough again. Oh, it absolutely will be tough, but I, I do believe in our offense. I believe in our defense to help the offense. It's going to be a very fun game to watch, I believe, on Sunday. Nashville's a better hockey city than Toronto. Come at me. Yo, we're starting some controversy in chat. I'd be curious to see uh, the answers here. 
You felt like an MLB insider. Yes, NY. You need a big game from Showtime and AJ Dillon again? Oh, I'm sure. They are well rested with that uh, long or like that mini bye week, I guess you can say. Uh, please remind me to go to the bullpen after this out. That's a big strikeout. Can't come at you because it's true. Barnhart's a great fielder. The Chiefs did almost lose to the Giants. That is true. That is true. I did not warm up another righty. This is, this is also true. I did not warm up another righty. Uh, let's do a mountain visit real quick. And I think we are just going to go with our lefty Alex Wood here. We might not even need the righty. Bullpen. Thank you, Buck. Toronto is greater than Nashville. Stevenson is a great hitter all around, but not a good fielder. We'll see what happens as it progresses. Losing Tunyon hurts, uh, but uh, Mercedes can be decent. Oh, Lewis is amazing. I love him. I love him. The arm barn. We can call it the arm barn. Going to the arm barn, says Error. Ooh, that bunt was hit just hard enough, but I guess it was softer than that because that is going to be a base hit. Alex Wood against Dansby Swanson. Trying to avoid extra base hits here. Have you ever seen Leafs fan? I don't know. Do they even exist? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's a big swing and a miss right there. Runner stays at first base. 0-2 hole for Dansby. Uh, we're going to try one more time with that change up in the dirt. Big swing and a miss. No, go second. Go second. What are you doing? I hate no, this game sometimes. We got an L7. We sure do have an L7. So it's going to be even sweeter when we win this game. Absolutely. And it looks like that's going to be a GG. A GG. A GG. First game of stream is a dub? Who are we? Who are we this morning or this afternoon? Let's go. Tony Love League and receiving touchdowns at tight end last season. So it's a big loss, but we still have decent tight ends. Absolutely. Um, I'm excited to see what DeGuara is going to be able to do. Lewis, of course, still used a lot in the um, in the blocking stage of tight end, but he's obviously a weapon in the receiving side of being a tight end. Uh, obviously a lot for LaFleur to play call and match up, especially it's going to be nice having MVS, hopefully Adams and Lazard back. And then of course, Jones and Dylan, they just do it all. Absolutely. How many posting events do we have so far? We're at 46 exclamation point wins in case you ever want to check in the middle of the game. Um, we'll see if I can get to the 60 wins for the second rewind pack that's offered in this we'll see if we can be, go basically undefeated today i might have some time tomorrow evening to finish off the games off stream uh but we're just trying to have fun try to play this event as a way to conclude the baseball season absolutely like, what's up matthew hope you're doing well yeah exactly Corey. exactly and joe barry of course Congratulations to the new 2021 World Series champions, Atlanta Braves. Dodgers are no longer reigning champs. Big sad, but happy for the Braves. What's up, Alex? You've not played the show in so long. Dang, Bunk. I don't blame you, though. There's been some really awesome games that have come out since the show has come out, and the show obviously has had its uh, difficulties for uh, a nice term to use. In terms of hockey fans, Leafs fans are the same as Yankee fans. Insufferable, and yes, I'm a Leafs fan. Are you relating yourself to a Yankee fan, T-Rad? Uh, where's Sivak? I'm gonna have to pass this along. Cool. Huh. You thought the Jays won the 2021 World Series? Oh, wait, that was a dream. Baseball season never ends. Not wrong. <laughs> nice, you have 71 wins. No idea how I got to that number. I'm not that great a hitter. Hey, you got there. Doesn't matter how, you got there. But I have enjoyed this event for the most part, for sure. You miss baseball now, right? You had a dream Rizzo, Javi, and KB were still Cubs. Wait, they aren't? And Jock and Soler are still gone too? Dang, time to go back to bed, right? It's always so sad when you have a really good dream. And then you wake up and you're like, dang it, it's not real. And then you're sad. It stinks, nope. it stinks. That game six one was so dominant. Jorge Soler is absolutely incredible. Definitely earned that MVP award. I'm excited to use his card in this game. Because uh, you're probably going to see it a lot. In December 1st when the strike starts, yeah. But hopefully everything will get negotiated. I do think the baseball season will start on time. We'll see what happens, though, of course. One or two days, so pitchers and catchers report. One day, the White Sox won it all. Then Ashley can celebrate. Oh, we're going all out uh, when the White Sox win the World Series in the next couple of years. Very, very exciting stuff. Solar power. Solar power. Jorge Solar now co-owns the Astros. <laughs> Poor Dusty, though. 
Ooh, what a snag, Logan. I see you. I see you. The Packers. We oh. love the Packers. Who will win the chip first? The White Sox or Packers? Yeah, I can definitely see the Packers winning it before the White Sox. So Larry with 125, 125 power against both sides. Yes. You were at 11 wins on your event run last night. You were trying to maybe snipe a lower, lower rated opponent for game 12, but couldn't find one. Kept getting 2,000 rated people. Dang. So what happened, Clay? Did you end up playing one of those people? And did you go 12-0 and 0 in the event? The suspense, it's killing me. It's too early for another um short season you ready for november 12th bucks versus celtics in boston you still support my team but you're a celtics fan should be a good one appreciate the respect right answer is leaps uh the Sox aren't winning till La, La Russa and reinsdorf sell the team um it also looks like larusa is bringing back the whole entire coaching staff including uh the hitting coach which i'm not too fond about you left it and we'll try again today Ooh, let me know clay let me know match up with me Actually, maybe not match up with me. I'll be too competitive. <laughs> when Acuna Jr. comes back, who do we bench? Going to be some tough calls for Alex. Uh, hopefully, Freddie is a brave for life. Uh, that's a good problem to have. It's always a good problem when you have too many good players rather than not enough uh, good players. I'm sure y'all are going to figure something else. Especially, especially, Corey, uh, the Universal DH, I predict, I predict, uh, will be happening starting next season. Um, I do predict the Universal DH will be starting next season, which could, which would actually help Atlanta in that situation. I uh, wonder if there will be a MLB The Show 22, if there is a work stoppage. There will be MLB The Show 22. Yeah, it, I don't think it would impact the game, unless I'm wrong. Correa, future White Sox. Hey, I'll take Correa or Marcus Simeon. <laughs> Correa to the Tigers. Dusty can't escape game six. It's his curse. <laughs> Roots for the fastball because you live in New York. It's baseball actually depends on the payroll. We run the Dodgers or Yankees. I know, I know. We love payroll. And guess what we love? Ronald Acuna Jr. bombs. Let's get it. Let's get it straight into the right between the tennis and basketball courts. Let's go. But does T.O. Albert get to 700 home runs? I hope so. It would be a shame to fall short. I, I hope so, too. I hope he will. There's MLB The Show 20. They updated a lot, so I'd say 100% MLB The Show 22. I agree, Harrison. Universal DH means... Uh, Pujols retires as a Cardinal. Hmm, maybe, maybe. Does Devers... Does Devers have enough? Back to back! Back-to-back -back Acuna Jr. Endeavors. Let's go. Payroll doesn't equal uh, wins in MLB, though. That's a very good point. Hence the Yankees. Hence the Yankees in terms of playoff, I should say. Absolutely. Is Chris Middleton hurt for the Bucks? Unfortunately, Chris Mid uh, Middleton has COVID-19, so he is recovering from that. The difference between the Yankees and the Dodgers is that the Dodgers actually care about winning. Yo! <laughs> Blind lifestyle with the fireworks. I see you. Let's go, Jim. Let's go, Alex. Speaking of Carlos Correa... Oh, no, he's fallen below 500. Dude's got to get back on track for us here. That was a fastball right down the middle, and I ground into a double play. That should have been demolished for a home run. With all that extra money the Braves made from being in the World Series, they better spend some money this offseason. And what do you or who do you want them to go uh, go after in specifics, Josh? Or just generally a position? You hope there's no universal DH in the show 22. You prefer the pitchers to hit. I was uh, I was in Thuni stream uh, yesterday evening, and we were talking about this. We are all for the universal DH in real life. I think for MLB The Show, I would have to agree to not have a universal DH in MLB The Show. No balls, two strikes. I don't know. What are your thoughts about it? What are your thoughts about it? Shots fired. Shot, 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 shots. Everybody. Shoot, shoot. I messed that up. I looked away. Thank you, Devers, for bailing me out right there. You don't want you don't know what to do with baseball season being over Mario Party Alex Hopefully next week. We'll have at least one Mario Party stream obviously more especially toward my winter break You saw Kimbrel the Upton bro brother Simmons and everyone else let go because the Braves had to cut the payroll That's a very good point a lot of, a lot of big names there Imagine hitting below 500 with Carlos Correa I know it's sad you hope the Cubs make some moves that open up payroll well it looks like the Giants I don't know what they're doing with Chris Bryant but he could go back to the Cubs you know what's up Elmo Kimbrel to return to the Braves you think Freddie had some year by himself because the Braves didn't want to spend money so we'll see true 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 three words for you N H L Resign Freddie is definitely number one. Also need a better one bench and bullpen arms. Never hurt. Absolutely, I agree. You have to resign Freddie Freeman. Pitchers don't need to hit it. Sometimes it's just a free out. Oh, one hundred percent. It's always a free out. That's why I think there should be a universal DH. I mean, if there is a universal DH in the game, I don't think I mind. It's just gonna limit the bench options. Like you're of course gonna have your bench, but you're probably not gonna use them as strategically, um, in the game. 
uh, than you would in like IRL with it or not. I don't know, we'll see, but I'm personally all for the Universal DH. Yo, H Diddy with the 1,000 bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. World champs indeed. Big GG, I hope you're celebrating. I hope you had a fantastic time last night watching those final couple outs. Thank you so much, H Diddy. I truly appreciate you. I hope everything is going well. Welcome back on in. We are just trying to finish up this event. I believe it ends Friday, two o'clock central time, one o'clock central time. So just trying to get a couple more wins here while we can. So layer 99 confirmed. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a totally beefed out Jorge Solaire card. You don't see Brian returning to Chicago personally. Me neither. I think of all the ex-Cubs at the trade deadline, I think Javier Baez is most likely to return to the Cubs out of like Baez, Rizzo. Are you kidding me? That's a fair ball. Uh, Bryant. Go home! Why is there no sense of urgency? Hey. <sighs> oof, oof, smash real cool. Brian staying with the Giants. I don't know what they're gonna do about his offer though, because I know he's gonna have a competitive market. I don't know how much they want to spend. Ooh, dodged a bullet there. Will the show keep pitchers for the strategy factor? That's what I'm thinking, big deal. I think if there's a universal DH IRL, um, that they might keep pitchers in the game for strategy. However, they, they did implement the, the base runner on second base extra inning rule. So if they if they implemented that into the game, I feel like if if when we get Universal DH, they'll do that too. Maybe not, maybe not. Nick Magical should be a nice addition regardless. Sorry, I know that one might be traumatic. Nah. I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> You're good, Air. But yes, Nick Magical should be a very good addition for the Cubs once he's back and healthy. Need to hurry up and get the eighth inning boss cards before the inning expires next week. You got some time. I believe in you. I think double XP is still going on right now. Go Ducks and Red Wings, says Avid Runner. Absolutely. Anyone but the Canucks. You don't want Universal DH personally. Through this season, you start seeing the strategies of having a pitcher bat, which you like having in the NL and uh, in the National League NL. I can see that, but uh, it's all about the home run. It's all about um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More fun and excitement. Uh, there are way more outs amongst pitchers than hits. I mean, how many times you see a pitcher strike out with runners in scoring position versus how many times you see a pitcher drive in a run with runners in scoring position? Uh, the numbers are just not in the favor in favor of um, pitchers still hitting. Who knows? Although I do believe when they're renegotiating the CBA, the Universal DH will be a part of it. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Dang it. I was so underneath that changeup. You already got the inning boss. It doesn't feel like you've had time to play. I feel that, Survive. I feel that. That extra base runner is whack sometimes. Unless it helps me, obviously. Oh, I agree 100%. It's terrible when I lose. It's beautiful when I win. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying that sport because you need some stubs every time because uh, you got the last two vouchers you need for Kershaw. Let's get it. Canucks fans are evil. Every time they lose, they destroy their city. Ooh, Pitchers hitting are so boring, to be honest. I agree. I agree. Yo, let's go, Drewski. Hot take, everyone. I mean, everyone signs with the Cubs and White Sox at the minimum. And the two play each other in the World Series next year. Goes to a game seven. I'm intrigued. I'm, but to be honest, I'm intrigued in any conversation that has the White Sox in the World Series. <laughs> But to beat the Cubs again in the World Series, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> the show needs to not allow pitchers to be the runner in second and extra innings. That's the MLB rule. Definitely understandable. Right, but intentionally walking the pitcher is a good defensive strategy. And then when you have runners in scoring position, ooh, Chad is too fast for me right now. Later in the game, you have to strategize your pinch hitter. It's very, very true. It's definitely fun for strategy, but I think overall it's just not very beneficial, especially to the growth of the game. But I definitely understand where you're coming from. We'll see what happens. But we'll see. That's why I think at the very least, it'd be nice to have it in the game for strategical purposes. But we'll see. We'll see. Absolutely. 20,000 subs. What's so a drag? Jeter could be the collection reward or Manny Ramirez. I feel like if Jeter is going to be a collection reward, they need to market that, which could happen in MLB The Show 22. But it could also increase sales in, in when baseball is in the offseason right now. That's a big win. I kind of forgot we were in this position. It's so fun winning when you don't realize um, you're winning. 
47 now, Yankees. Welcome on in, though. Let me catch up on everything again real quick. The only thing you'd say is strategic about pitcher's ban is when you sub in a pinch hitter, which isn't really strategy. Of course, you want to replace the hole in your lineup. I agree 100%. DH has to be used for the pitcher, cannot be used for position player. I forget who asked that. Yeah, we got that, Young, but thank you for uh, chiming on in. Then no extreme program ever. Hopefully there's an extreme program. Just because there's an extreme program doesn't mean you have to play it there, Angel, but other people might enjoy it. Late night and rough getting up for work today, but worth it. Spend too much on murder. Merch. Hope they were signed, Freddy. You can never spend too much on merch when you're the champion. Enjoy it, H, H Diddy. Hopefully work is done soon so you can just kind of sit back, relax at home, and enjoy the excitement once again. I mean, if everyone's on two teams, why even have a regular season? Just for fun. <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> it's gonna be Frank Robinson. Jeter would be the worst collection card ever. Dang, that's a take. I feel if they drop Jeter in 21, that would put 21 sales up, 22 sales up as well. That's a very good point. It's definitely going to help sales no matter when they drop it, but there's definitely probably some strategy in when they drop it. David Wright, 30-30 would be the NL and Carl Yastrzemski for the AL. Oh, that'd be really, really cool, Angel. Probably thought you were the away team going to walk it off. Honestly, you probably, you're probably not wrong, Corey. You're probably not wrong. Makes you wonder how the Braves pulled it off with two holes in their lineup and Darno in the pitcher spot. That's a good point. Dang, throwing Darno under the bus. To be fair, I, I don't even play with him online or in this game because I'm terrible with him. Uh, we're going to start Julio. He hasn't, uh, he's been actually pretty good for me in this event. Extreme program killed you last season, but in a way better player now, so you should, it should be way harder. I, I only did the conquest last year with the extreme program. So if we get it back this year, I would like to try out the moments and the showdown as well. Maybe this starts the year of Atlanta. The Falcons will finally win the Super Bowl and the Hawks will finally win the NBA finals in Atlanta. I disagree because the Packers and Bucks exist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing with you, Robo. <laughs> All right, Tommy. Don't let his batting average deceive you. He's very, very good. You want a Carlos Delgado? Uh, Darno won a Silver Slugger last season, too. He had a hurt thumb. That's a good point. That's a good point. Oh, we discussed that earlier in stream game. Um, I'm personally disappointed with how he answered the question on his vaccination status. Um, we'll see what happens when eventually he has a press conference, but I'm very disappointed. Uh, on the same note, I hope he feels better. I hope he recovers. Uh, no one deserves to be sick. It's on PC. Ooh, that's cool sports. Which, uh, which platform do you have it on? But your feelings that Green Bay will defeat TB in the NFC Division Series, and then Green Bay will always lose the NFC Championship game, and it will be to the Falcons. We already, we've already lost to the Falcons in an NFC Championship game. We're not repeating that. Uh, but I'd rather make it to the dance than uh, not make it to the playoffs at all, even with all of that heartbreak. <laughs> but yeah, the Thrashers will get a cup. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Absolutely. You pulled a diamond Cedric Mullins the other day? GG's, Matthew. Cedric Mullins cards are very, very good. Wow, 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 wow. We're going to the Super Bowl. Packers are easy dubs. Whoa, 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 Not even I deserve to be sick. Yay, I'm back and not being rude. What? Damn, gross. <laughs> PlayStation 5, but it's on all consoles. Get, I got you, I got you. Yo, what's up, Master Chief? How we doing, Rufio, Rufio? Hope the two of you are doing very well. We're 2-0 to start today's stream, so we're thriving. But Okunia is in an 0-2 count and would like to score a run here. Dang it, Okunia! At least we stay alive. Back to back NFC Championship losses. When we win the NFC Championship games, we were winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, I know so many people are like, "Well, you keep losing the NFC Championship game," and it's also like, "Where are you? Where Where are you in the right. NFC Championship game?" Oh yeah, that's right. You're sitting at home on your couch. At least my team gives themselves a chance because they're in the game. Obviously, have they taken advantage of said chances? No, but they at least have that chance. We're at 47. We're at 47. We'll see if I get to 60 for that second rewind pack. I just figured it would be a nice uh, way to play. It would be a nice thing to play the event, the postseason okay. event, since now baseball is over. One last little hurrah as we enter the offseason. Aaron Rodgers sent you $10 in Bitcoin. He did to my brother as well. Let's go, Dap Boy. I thought it was so funny. There are so many Bears fans in particular on my timeline that are like, I hate Aaron Rodgers, but he did give me $10 worth of Bitcoin. I'm like, mm -hmm. you only like Aaron when he's giving you money? <laughs> you, think, you think a Cowboys bills in the Super Bowl? Ooh, I don't like that Cowboys answer because that means my Packers aren't in it. Oh my God, is that going to drop for a hit? Drop, 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 drop. Nope. 
Yeah, 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 Harrison. Who should you get from the 12 OBR run? Ooh, that's a good question, Buttery. Who do you need? Thank you, Rufio. You wish the Daily Moments for this month had newer stuff. They have all the Daily Moment Diamonds for the past year. Yeah. Yeah, it would be nice to have some new stuff for sure. How long, much longer can I flip the market? Because Von Von Tanya to flip the market and you love it. Well, I'm glad you love flipping the market there, DJ. I need to learn more about it. Absolutely. Where are you on the couch, no matter who's on the couch, no matter who's playing? Respect, respect. <laughs> Baseball season never ends. You're a Steelers fan, but you like Aaron Rodgers. I respect that. On the weekend, you won two tickets to Ohio State Purdue game. Ooh, that should be fun if the game hasn't happened yet. Yo, what's up, ball? Absolutely. You hate when Aaron Rodgers does the obligatory killing of the Cowboys every year. I enjoy that. <laughs> Ooh, I thought that was gonna hang. You were at the Colts Titans game this past weekend? Yo, that's awesome. You don't really need anyone. Then take the one who's worth most of and sell them. Brown should have to beat the Steelers this past weekend. You're just ready for the NFL playoffs. Right now, you'll play anyone besides the Rams. They give some, they give you some nervous vibes. Oh, for sure. I, I would definitely agree with that. We'll see what happens. Ruins your day every time. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. All right, let's see what Julio can do here. One pretty quick out. Hopefully a couple more. You're gonna get your booster tomorrow? Let's go, Master Chief. GG's. Hopefully it all goes well for you. I'm sure it will. I can get mine in December or January. I'll have to double check, but I'm very, very excited about that. That is a tough solo shot to give up. Defense is worth like over 100 mil, right? Pays to have a good defense, though. Defense wins championships, I've heard. You want a big oh, new legend for the collection war next year because Chipper was still relevant since MLB 16. Yeah, being a switch hitter with Pop makes sense. Uh, David Ortiz was an interesting choice. The Steelers are losing Monday Night Football next week because you said so. Totally no bias. Who are they playing next Monday night? It couldn't be Robo's team, could it? <laughs> yep, Rams just traded for Von Miller. No one can beat them now. It's going to be very difficult, too. Uh, but we'll see what happens, of course. Got a 2 weeks old, kind of kicked your butt. Well, hopefully everything is going well now. You got your replenished antibodies, which oh, is dope. Yeah. And uh, thank you for doing that, Great, Appreciate that. What's up, little mama? Hope you're doing well. Probably not the bears, right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Good afternoon, dragon. It just so happens to be them, actually. Wow, totally did not know. I knew you didn't know. I, I knew you didn't know, you know? I, oh, I was just asking. <laughs> Jordan Love's going to have 500 plus passing yards. Whoa. That'd be kind of cool, though. I hope that means they're going to win. But hopefully they're still utilizing Jones and Dylan. But I am pretty excited to see what Jordan Love uh, uh, has got. Rams are the favorite in the NFC. They absolutely are. I would agree with that. All right. Let's get out of this inning only down one run, please. And it looks like that is going to be possible. Let's go put up some runs. Nice, sports. Maybe I'll look into it. Not really interested in racing games right now besides Mario Kart. Mario Kart Mario Kart 8 for the Switch is a racing game that I am looking into to possibly bring to stream. Dang it, big hack for Carlos. Just got back from Houston for the Game 6 of World Series. You were there, buttery? Yo, I hope you enjoyed that atmosphere. As Carlos Correa just smashes a cutter to left center field for a leadoff double. You're studying, like, communication, health sciences or something, right? Health science and English. Uh, what a perfect confluence of events for this Rogers thing for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Clay. Oh, yeah. It is, yeah. That's really all I can say right now because you are 100% right. I've been dissecting, like, everything about it. Am I Dr. Sanders in Doctor Who? I wish, but I am not. Ooh, we're going to take that free third base. Okay, okay, okay. Mario Kart, best racing game ever. That's what I'm saying, future Blue Jay, Carlos Correa. 2-1 count for Jack. And we got ourselves a tied ball game. Hopefully. Why is he running slow? Slow! Ooh, Carlos, I swear. I think it was a little laggy, but I got nervous. Your opponent's logo looks like the knockoff Timberwolves. It kind of does. Yeah, I see it. Or right down there. A rough week for Titans fans. Uh, first losing King Henry, now they're facing Von Miller. I was devastated to hear the Henry news. Hopefully, he will be able to be back for the playoffs. One and one. Absolutely. All right, all right. Uh, where's the word? Runner and survive. We're over it. I know y'all. I know y'all were lighthearted. I know y'all were lighthearted. 
No more of those jokes, please. No more. No more. I know y'all didn't mean anything rude by it, but we're we're over it. Manny oh, Ramirez, Zero Jeter, Nomar, Jose, Levon, Enrique, Carlos. Hope they put some of them in the next game. That would be pretty, pretty cool. You're doing good. Was doing some thinking about the sports teams, like your favorite NFL, NBA, and NHL teams in your home state. But your MLB team is Miles. Oh, my God. Is that out of here? Craig to the B to the G to the O. Craig Biggio fireworks 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 MLB team is miles away you're thinking about changing that so all the teams are closer to home but after last night you don't want to be considered a bandwagon you know what you you watch and root for the team you wish to watch and support and root for Silva if someone calls you a bandwagon they're just jealous uh, that you have a really awesome team to root for appreciate that sir I appreciate that Let's go. Fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. My king. Hopefully he's back. It was what the timetable is like six to ten weeks to grow, so he can definitely come back for the postseason. I sure hope so. Obviously hoping he gets healthy first. It's just sports. We're all bandwagon fans since we don't play for the team. Now there's a perspective, Horns intriguing but i think it's kind of interesting you'd imagine henry rushing back from the playoffs would be a bad idea heal up fully. oh i agree 100 percent heal up fully if that uh if that timetable corresponds with the postseason nice but yes i agree you want him healthy first and foremost you don't want him to get healthy play in the postseason he gets hurt and then he misses all of next regular season i definitely agree with that you're a blue jays fan welcome on in Oh, okay. I'm a cub. Wait, what, Degrush? I'm a Cubs fan now. Just wanted to let you know, Ashley. Wow, I don't even know what to say about that. You got 99 Mookie parallel five GGs, buttery. You're gonna make a really hot take right now. I don't think the Rams win around. I think Stafford collapses in the playoffs. Ooh, you better screenshot that. So we can see if it comes true or not in the postseason. Your hockey team is the last undefeated team in the league. I must be a bandwagoner. <laughs> Y'all are funny. You said I can bandwagon. Yeah, that doesn't mean I'm going to like the team you choose to root for. I don't like the Cubs. All right. We have the lead. Let's keep it. So we can change teams for the heck of it. In that case, go Pirates. If that, if that is, if you want to be a Pirates supporter through and through, especially everything, more, more props to you. If you are going to leave whatever team you're rooting for <laughs> to become a pirates fan in specific then you, you gotta be a real fan <laughs> happy wednesday nova how are you doing to be honest you wanted the jets to go 0 and 16 and the jaguars to not win a game now it's detroit that can go 0 and 16 hope you don't jinx it yeah it's it's not looking too good for those uh, lions obviously of course have been on the bad side of luck a lot of bad luck but you still got to find a way to win. Is it me or is, it, or is 99 Kershaw not the best pitcher? No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Pirates, the way team is 30 minutes away, so it's not too crazy. Hey, there you go, Derp Dog. I think you're going to be a Pirates fan. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thankfully, we got that strikeout. Not too bad. Done with classes for the day. Just have a bit of work to finish up this afternoon. How about yourself? Ooh, nice. So hopefully you can enjoy most of the afternoon with a little bit of work left. Doing well as well pretty busy week i've been studying for an exam um i have an essay to outline and write this week slash this weekend pretty busy week for me but that means next week should be a nice little breather and then it'll pick up once more uh, for the end of the semester i have like one month left one month and a couple days because finals it's crazy Kershaw's rough. Oh, Kershaw's rough. Clemens, McGuire, Sosa, Petit, um, Messina, Paige, Johnson should all be in the show. Yeah, there are so many players I wish to be in the show. Obviously, it comes down to rights, how much money those rights cost, all that fun stuff. What if the Pirates' A-ball team isn't the one that plays in Pittsburgh? Oop. None of the White Sox uh, uh, minor league teams play in Illinois. We have minor league teams in the Chicagoland area, but none of them affiliated with the White Sox. You're a Pirates fan now, you're switching to being a Blue Jays fan. I like how we're all becoming Pirates fans today. <laughs> As I wear my Lucas Giolito no-hitter shirt, which occurred against the Pittsburgh Pirates. <laughs> the Flyers won last night was huge. Nice. Your opinion, 99 show is the best just because he can hit a lot of homers. You're also good with lefty hitters. Nice, nice. You just gotta uh, get us that 12 and 6 with Kershaw and limit fastballs. He's better on higher difficulties. I have heard he's better on higher difficulties. For sure. I saw that, Clay. The CT minor league team, so Connecticut, 
is an affiliate oh, to the yeah. Rockies. Nice. Am I throwing a party when I finish college? Um, I don't have anything planned. I can definitely throw like a Twitch party. No balls. Too Yo, great. GG's bat trick. I was about to ask where I get the shirt from. Yeah, it was um the Lucas G Little no hitter shirt that was on like MLB Shop Fanatics. I copped it when it was on sale. What's up, Edits fan? How are you? NC's adopted team. We won 4-0 against the Coyotes. Ooh, that's a nice win. Those Coyotes, they just can't catch a break like any season. They're just, they're not, they just don't do too shabby, you know? It is kind of difficult to hit against uh, Gratterall here. I'm doing well, Edits. Thank you for asking. Glad you are too. You don't know, uh, but you have the Jets making the playoffs. They've been looking a low-key good. Okay, okay, I see you, I see you. They should just pay into a retired okay. players fund so they have the retired players' rights. That could be interesting. I'm sure they've considered that or have worked around it. I don't know exactly how the process works, though. Coyotes are winless that they are. On their Hurricanes 8-0. You know, they're going to move to Quebec City at some point. Yeah, I mean, this is the last year in the stadium in Arizona. I don't even think they stay in Arizona. You think they gotta move? Yeah, I think they have to move too. Which stinks. Which stinks. Ball in. Absolutely. They were the nicest people? Yo, let's go. Hurricanes 8-0, Panthers 8-0-1. Yep. Very exciting. Very exciting starts for both those franchises. Dang it, Chris. The count is Do I have the pen warmed up for a possible closer? So we have Tyler up. I'm also gonna warm up John. Can they move so I don't have to hear Matthew stay Arizona? <laughs> you have no idea, but you're not complaining in one bit. Understandable. Oh, come on, Chris. I got hungry all of a sudden. Oof. You know who else is winless? Me in ranked, says Dresslin. Oh no. Big oof. Big oof. It's all good. It's all good. Nope. Well, hopefully you'll win there, Robo. Playing someone in rank, she's playing over a thousand games. Oh my god. That's crazy. All other legends can be put on hold till we get that 2005-99 Derek Lee. I understand, understand. You don't know 100% about the rights, but... Ooh, Chris Taylor! Get down! I hate perfect, perfect outs. But if they played in any sports league, then they should be available as a player in the game. Yes, they are available as players in the game. It's just a matter of, does the game company want to pay for them to be in the game? That negotiation process. You're very good points. And because the NHL playoff format, the best two teams in the East will face each other in round one. Isn't that crazy? Do we keep Bruzdar in? I think we do. I think we do. For right now. For right now. Yo, what's up, Chester? Hope you're doing well. Hurricanes are going 82-0-0 this year. Let's make it happen. Could you imagine? Hot take. SDS. Where'd that go? It removes all White Sox players? That's just mean. That's just mean. That's not a hot take. That's just a mean take. <laughs> Big out number one to start the bottom of the third. He's out. Y'all are crazy. Southern hospitality is definitely real. Noise, noise, noise. Ooh. Now I like really want barbecue food right now. Barbecue chips, ooh. I don't know why I'm thinking chips in particular, but I just, I have a taste for like barbecue and like the chips was the first thing that came to my mind. I think I'm hungry for chips right now. <laughs> Ultimate President's Trophy winners undefeated all season, right? Absolutely, the Arizona Coyotes are scheduled to return to the Central Division for the first time since the 97-98 season. Dang, is there gonna be a league realignment then, TNA? I was not aware. Barbecue chips are the goat. They're very good. If SDS could get Negro League players involved, it would, be, it would just it would just about double the amount of great cards they could put out. Oh, 100 freaking percent. I personally think it needs to happen. Ooh, big strikeout for out number two. Biggio. Nice. Y'all want to hear something wholesome and adorable? Of course. We need a 2018 flashback Lucas Giolito, a 54 overall common. That's just plain rude. That's just why we, so many, not even hot takes, just mean takes, just mean takes. <laughs> ah, Kraken, it all makes sense now. How are the Kraken doing? I, I, like I said, I haven't really been following hockey past two seasons, really. No balls, two strikes. Ooh, yo, GG's, GG's, 3-0 and to start today, folks. We're 3-0. and so we're at 48 wins. It doesn't show on the screen, but it will be 48 wins. Hey! We got Alvarez and Rosario. Ooh! Ooh! 
we're at 48 it just counted do i do i need to quit out and make a new team i wait a minute hold on i really want to use those cards does that mean i finished the program i did nice that means i finished the program i must have got some of the missions done no i just got the wins i got the hits though I w i'm like one away from any of these okay so now we're all caught up with the postseason uh things i still have to finish run it back i need like literally nothing to finish this program I i'll i'll finish it at least i have the jared card that's really all that matters okay ken Griffey senior i need two more extra base hits with right fielders two more extra base hits with right fielders and senior is mine so i won't have to play that cpu game fine by me Ooh. So I have, ooh, maybe, maybe on our first loss, because we're on a hot streak, because we're on a hot streak, maybe our first loss, I'll then add those players to the lineup. I'll, I'll just reset it. Maybe that's what we'll do. Not as bad of dumpster fires as the Yotes. That's Eddie Rosario. That's what I said, Eddie Rosario. Who do you think Braves get rid of to make room for Acuna? Do you think they give Ozuna a World Series ring? No to the last question. Absolutely not. As for the first question, I'm not sure how exactly their payroll looks, uh, but I think that's a good problem to have. More GGs, 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 GGs. We need a 99 postseason Brad. I think I missed it. I'll go back and look. I'll go back and look. The other day, you were out and about, and a goth girl walked past you, gas a little, you're like, sorry, but you're an absolute dog. After I said, you could see it in her eyes, her mood changed, and she was like, if we weren't in the pandemic, I would so hug you. I'm glad you were able to make her day. That's awesome, Silva. Very awesome stuff. Absolutely. What's the, what's really the difference between Tops and Rosario in this one? I have not, T-Red! Again? Um, if you want the friendly, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with either or, T-Red. I'm fine with either or. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Shoot, what was I just talking about? Oh, Rosario. I, I'm not seeing them side-by-side -side comparison, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, I think we're playing it. You're playing because you don't want to play ranked right now. That's fine. That's fine. Best of luck. Um, I guess we will be having a new lineup at the end of today's game. Of um, this game. <laughs> yeah, Junior gets a ring. Absolutely, Acuna does. Absolutely. What was the stat about Terrence Gore? So he's received two World Series rings um, since his last at-bats. That's crazy, but good for him. Good for him. Good for you, you look happy and healthy, not me, if you ever cared, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they give him one. Uh, Arizona Coyotes are going to be playing in the G Gila, Gila, River Arena until the end of the 21-22 season. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, we'll see if they're going to have to relocate. Odds are they probably will. Odds are they probably will. Daily moment on this day, Albert Poulos discovered a new planet after hitting a 6,000 foot home run. I believe it. That's so lair home run from last night. Oh my god. Does anyone know if that landed yet? Because I don't I don't think it has. I don't think it has. Gila like Gila. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He has three World Series rings and 67 career at bats. That's that's how you have an efficient major league baseball career. That is efficiency to a T. <laughs> yeah, all the pinch running, absolutely. All the pinch running. Oh, yeah, I knew it right when I threw it. I hung it right when I threw it. It's the new Haley's comment. <laughs> oh, that, that that was fine, Bunk. That was that was just sarcasm. It's all good. Yep, pinch runs and gets a ring. You'll love to see it. I should probably warm up the bullpen before I forget. Oh, no, Brew Star is hurt. Oh, no, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. Foolish baseball legend. Oh, my goodness. Sen was the current player with the most World Series right now. Yeah, he has what four? Yeah, four. Says Corey. Mm-hmm. Good for the big panda. All right, that was a very unfortunate hanging slider. I, I kind of took advantage of throwing sliders, but you know how how can you not when T Red has that silly swing? But now I'm nervous. I get so nervous. Nope, the ball hasn't landed yet. It's still in the solar system. <laughs> Absolutely. There was talk of building a new Coyotes place in Tempe or Scottsdale. Not sure what happened with that. Yeah, it's, I, I feel like I recall that. 
That Solaire home run landed on your car here in NC. Your windshield is broken. You better have his insurance company pay for it. Oh, why am I hanging sliders? <laughs> a plus joke. <laughs> it was it was an incredible swing. He knew it right away. He knew it right away. T Rat, I don't know why I'm hanging these sliders to you. I'm trying not to, okay? I'm trying not to. A plus joke. Did he steal the joke? <laughs> Yo, I appreciate you hanging out, Corey. Have a great have a great day at work. Hopefully we'll catch you this weekend. All right, well, we have some work to do. <laughs> what do we write that pimp job in that home run? Ooh, that's a good question. I didn't, I didn't that was original. <laughs> that's why Ashley hasn't perma bam me yet. <laughs> y'all, y'all. <laughs> Come on, Tommy. Tommy Admin! There's nothing that can get by him. Lucky for you, they offer the Patrick rate to everyone. Hand the discount double check rate. <laughs> Garcia's gonna have nightmares about Solaire. It was definitely very, very tough. He'll bounce back. He'll bounce back. Go. Cubs World Series legend Solaire doing Cubs World Series legend things. Don't win it again. I actually forgot he was on that Cubs team for a second. Not gonna lie. When your day off happens, you to finish that water slide. It's hot as heck, and the kids can't even use it. Yeah, you're right. I should probably finish that. It's a winter break mission. Maybe Thanksgiving break. But you're 100% right. <laughs> We're not stealing. Oh, dang it. I thought I got the PCI there in time. I truly did. I was, obviously, I did not. If anyone watched the post game, Jeff Passam was very proud of himself for finding Solaire's home run ball. He seemed like a five year old. It was so fun to see his joy. I did not see that, but it is fun seeing other people's joy. Come on, Devers. Lefty v. Lefty. Lefty v. Lefty! Ooh, we're going to have to stay on second base with Edmund because that was hit rather hard. But first and second with one out. Passam's elite. <laughs> Anybody getting their free taco tomorrow? Ooh, yeah, that's right. Taco Bell free taco. Ball, Are y'all? PCI? What's that? Never heard of it. Yeah, me neither. Ooh, 88 speed! This is a bad decision. Bad decision. Dang it! Right there on the tag. Bad decision. Shallow right field ruins the momentum. Now I'm sad. Now I'm sad. Hope the one in Boston participates. That was a good pitch. Your local Taco Bell is garbage, but I might give them one more chance to redeem themselves tomorrow. You got to for the free taco. For sure. You would put Taco Bell in a pandemic with TP still being limited doesn't sound like a good idea. Hope. That's a dot. I'll put the emote in there for T-Red. That's a dot. Don't run on T-Red either, right? We have the same amount of hits, though. Does that count for something? We just don't have the same amount of runs. Sash. Very sad. I'm so... I... I should not have sent Tommy Edmund. You're just happy Atlanta won last night, so there's a new episode of Mask Singer! <laughs> I love that for you, Clay. I love that a lot. <laughs> What's up, Mooch? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, Welcome to the now. Sand Squad. Hope you're doing well today. If anyone has a colonoscopy tomorrow, you can just get your free taco instead of drinking the nasty stuff the hospital gets you. Hey, there you go. That's a good way to look at it, Big C. That's a very good way to look at it. <laughs> That's so <laughs> Mop House is beautiful, yo. Yo, what's good, Mooch? Love the energy in here. How about them bravos? GG, are you a fan of Atlanta? Big GG, big congratulations. Um, glad you're enjoying the vibes in here. And welcome on in. We're losing our first game of stream today, so the vibes might be a little down. Nah, nah, I'm kidding. The energy in the stream is always good. I really appreciate that, Nick. You never had any problems to talk about. Y'all are haters. Haters, I tell you. I'm just not a fan of Taco Bell. That was a homer. OMG colonoscopy. Huge Braves fan waiting your whole life for last night. It lived up to the hype. I'm very glad you got that experience. That is awesome. I'm a huge White Sox fan. I don't know if you could tell by the Lucas Chiomito shirt. But uh, one day, we'll see that the White Sox. I was two, I mean, I was, I was almost six years old when the White Sox won in 05. 
uh, but I wasn't really into baseball until very early preteen, so like 11, 12. I'll be able to uh, hopefully have that experience soon. What's up, Trek? How are you doing today? Guess what? Taco Bell isn't a fan of you. Well, now I'm hurt because I want everyone to like me. <laughs> Colin, ask me now. That's an idea. <laughs> Didn't even notice that in your shirt. Haha, <laughs> love it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. I don't I know I, it's just hard with like the camera angle. But yeah, we got the no hitter t-shirt on today. Because I love Lucas Giulito. And he was at the game with Jack Flaherty watching... Former high school teammate Max Freed just dominate in his start last night. All right. Well, I've proven I can hit off a T-Rad. I now need to hit off a T-Rad and not make silly base running decisions. Wait, Ashley's a White Sox fan? Couldn't tell. That was exactly you when the Braves won their last one. Sox are well on their way with that core. Appreciate that. You're just not a Taco Bell fan. And there's a deep drive into... Whoa, no, but you did not just do that to me. <laughs> Oh, man, imagine playing in high school and facing those three guys, right? I would just grab some bench, tip the cap, grab some bench, go eat some peanuts, <laughs> go eat some seeds. We need a 99 free with 125 durability after his ankle. I have no idea how he stayed in the game. Especially when you factor in, like, the spikes on those cleats. He's a different animal. You have it on good authority from another stream that Ashley is a Cubs fan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to, I need to, I'm a mod in Ben's stream. I gotta change that command. But he also, he has the White Sox command in here. Can you believe they had those three guys on their staff and somehow didn't win the state title? Crazy, right? Well, I know Lucas was hurt because he had Tommy John surgery in his senior year of high school. And then when he was a junior, I think Freed was a Fresh, no, Flaherty. Flaherty's the younger one. Flaherty's the younger I think Flaherty was a freshman when they were juniors, Freed and Giolito. So I know they're, they're all on the same team is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if all three of them started in the same season. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Freed is tougher than a $2 steak. That's such, that is such a great metaphor, oh Noah. I love it and I kind of want to steal it. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> you thought he broke his leg? Honestly, I think we all did. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. What's up, oh. King Karanja? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Sand Squad. Drew Smiley winning a title means the 2014 Tigers rotation now has six guys from it who won titles. R.I.P. Tigers fans. R.I.P. He's no great Jenny, so... I keep seeing that meme. It's great. <laughs> Come on, Ozzy. Can we at least get one run here? Keep it in Blake oh, Snow. Ozzy does have the advantage against lefties. Dang it. If that was in the zone, that's a hit. The $2 steak is good. Y'all are getting better. DeGroosh is now judging all of y'all's all of y'all's uh, metaphors. Dang it, that was a terrible swing. Now I'm sad. Big comeback, though, for the bottom of the third. Apparently, Freed has stronger legs than Tim Hudson because the same thing happened to him and he had two broken bones in your leg. You're 100% right. I actually forgot about that. Holy. Did you see that video of Ozzy finding the second base cam last night? I did not see that video. What did it detail? Well, besides him finding second base cam. You know what I mean. So if we lose this game, I will reset the lineup. It will only be our first loss, but I do want to reset the lineup to get Rosario in here. I want to try out that card. I always have, says DeGroosh. That's right. That's right. As as the certified troll, you kind of have to. You have to judge others. <laughs> Last night was always about the Braves winning it all, though. It's about the Mets, baby. Love the Mets. Hit a home run. Love the Mets. Wow, look at the Mets just trying to push themselves in the World Series narrative. One day. One day. <laughs> More than a freak could have both had their legs broken. The same World Series would have been insane, right? Do we know Morton's status? I'm assuming he's had surgery. I don't know if he, I think he's gonna be ready for spring training is what is the last that I heard. I hope he gets healthy. It's a must even when I want to or not, understandable. Two home runs have been my Achilles heel in this game against Deere. Or there are three, there's definitely been two. I think that accounts for all five runs. All ones that count. Wasn't a lot of travel because of it. That's right, that's right. Yeah, three run bomb and a two run shot. Now the slider's working for me, no but then I hang it and it gets crushed for two homers that 
Uh, outputs five runs. It's okay. Big comeback, bottom of the third. I need you all to believe in me. Yes. I almost messed that up because I was pressing the emote button for chat. Uh, but big out number two. I still need to sit down Chris Taylor before our comeback truly begins. Dang it, Chris Taylor is going to go grab first base. He's going to steal first base. He cannot steal first base. Believes in the $2 stake. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. Not going to lie. That's, that's, that's fair. Dang it, it's the slider every time. I, I swear, I've only given up hits on the slider. Maybe one hit has been on the fastball. The slider t right either swings and misses, fouls off, or hits a home run. Right there, it was just a base hit, but you all know what I mean. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. I'm 2-2 against T-Red, and vice versa. So I gotta win this so I can go back to 3-2. and two. You love going to a restaurant, getting a $50 steak, and drowning in an A1. I sense a little sarcasm over there. A little bitterness toward A1 users. <laughs> Missing his spots bad. Morton is expected to be ready for spring training. Also looking forward to seeing a healthy Mike Soroka next year. T-Red is stealing signs confirmed. I agree. I agree. It's not that important, derp. <laughs> All right, come on, Tommy. You started this off with a perfect, perfect hit. Let's have another one, please. Top of the order. They're gonna get it done. Ooh, okay, okay, Tommy Edmund with the perfection. <laughs> At least we have Tommy Edmund to cheer for after this game. All right, Acuna is due for a hit. He's 0 for 1. Dang it, I did not want to hit that. Very, very early on that slider, though. Do we steal a base? No, 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 no. We can't steal against D-Red. I'd be too nervous. D-Red Poggers. What's up, Falcon? Uh, if I didn't, if I remember correctly, I'm 2-2 against D-Red. So he's 2-2 against me. This is the tiebreaker. That's obviously not favoring me. Dang it! That's an out. Okay, at least uh, Cunha Speed beat out the double play. You eat all your steaks with barbecue sauce because steak's overrated and tastes like nothing. Whoa. Whoa. I'm not a steak person either, Clay, but I'm sensing a lot of a lot of rebuttals about to come your way. <laughs> you can just steak for your friend. He asked for it. Well done. I looked at him. I was like, I do have to burn the poor steak. I when I used to eat steak, I asked for it to be well done, and then I realized if I eat a steak well done, I probably should not be eating steak, and I don't. Lobsters overrated. I've never had lobster. Your steak tastes amazing. I believe it. GG's here, rad. GG's. G to the G for the T of the rad. And now I'm gonna go cry and ban T rad. From stream. <laughs> GG's, we shall never play again. I win. I know you're up 3 2 now. Your favorite meal is turf and turf. All right, we're going to forfeit this entry so we can put in the newer cards. I really want to see what they're all about, especially that Eddie Rosario card. For us to check with the eight month resub. Thank you so much. And welcome back on into the Sand Squad sub family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep on enjoying those emotes and sub badges. I really appreciate the continued support. Two thirds of a year. Incredible. Thank you so much for us to check. I hope you're doing well, Pan Streamer. It didn't work. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> All right. Please just give me a quick moment to uh, get our team going right here. You just saw the Twitch point and won't let you acknowledge it. Um, uh, refresh the screen, Matthew. Uh, refresh uh, your 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 screen, and it should show up. Lobster is only expensive because they have to do dangerous ocean stuff to get it. Salt a well marbled steak 24 hours before you grill it and put it in the fridge. Opens up all the natural flavors, and you really don't need to season it. Interesting. By the way, that got me your my 90 plus live series pack. Just got trout. Thanks. Did you really just get trout? I didn't see the notification pop up. Wow. I think you're lying. I think you're lying. I hope you're lying, or else I'm gonna be sad. All right, um, let's see who we're going to have on the squad here. Ozzy Albies at least needs to be on the bench over Matthews. I would still like Carlos Correa in here. Carlos will be playing... Ooh, I think I should keep Devers for the lefty. Carlos might stay on the bench. Hold on. Unless I put Chris Taylor. Oh, he can't play first base. Can Devers play first base? Devers 
If I put Devers over Rowdy for third base, first base, then I can put Carlos at third base because I'd much rather have Tellez off the bench. I'd rather him off the bench. Congratulations to all the Braves fans. Absolutely stand up to us. It's been a sad day in H-Town. Uh, big GG's. Big GG's. Heck of a postseason. Heck of a World Series. Definitely a sad day. Feel what you need to feel. I've, I've definitely been in those uh, sad circumstances as a sports fan. It's tough. It's tough, Dust. It's tough. T. Ren, more like T. Pinocchio. Somewhere Rob Swanson is crying with all these D. Series. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Hold on. Let me make sure everyone's on the squad. Hank Aaron's not on the squad? Dang, they did my man dirty. Oh, my God. Disrespectful. Oh, and Jock Peterson's not even on the squad. Dang. Actually, I'd rather have Jock over Rowdy, I think. Actually, is that true? I actually do better with Rowdy. Ooh, this is hard. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, okay, okay. We have Tommy Edmond leading off. Then we're gonna have... Who do we have him bat behind? Ooh, I kind of want Eddie, Eddie Rosario to bat behind Edmond. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, ooh, unless... Devers. Unless it's Devers. Then it's Chris Taylor. Then it's Eddie Rosario. Ooh, we do have Jordan. Ooh, I'm excited about this Jordan card. Ooh, that means... Ooh, ooh. We're going to actually do this. We're going to actually bat him lower. Carlos will be in front of Kike, and then we'll have two righties finishing it out. I'm actually fine with that. Yeah, we're going to try this team. I'm actually excited about this team. I can tell you the exact buy order needed for me to get my stubs, too. Yeah, 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 T-Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Channel Mod said it was the last time you felt about Coach Zimmer. I did not see anything. Feel free to reset it there, Ash. It could've, Auto Mod could have caught you. Auto Mod is sometimes on something. But welcome on in. Sorry, Automon, got you. Astros had a great year. Feel bad for Dusty. Royal Burn Man, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the Sam Squad. You're not lying. It doesn't show up since it's a choice pack. Oh, that's right, because it's a choice pack. You're right, you're right, you're right. Picks or it didn't happen. <laughs> Hoping to win it because you wanted to shut up the media. I definitely understand that stand up. Definitely understand that. Jolly Coach Simmer, I mean, he's he's got a great defensive mind. Um, but I know he's not been doing the Vikings a whole lot of good this season in particular. Remember, licking doorknobs is illegal on other planets. It's also just gross. <laughs> Alright, I'm excited to try out Eddie and Jordan. Let's see what they have. We're back in the Jurassic bubble. You refresh the screen and it still isn't letting me acknowledge the Twitch Prime sub. That is actually really weird, Matthew. I'm not sure. Do you recall how many months it was? That really stinks. Oh my god, they're betting 500 without Tuve? Dang. Ding, ding, ding. But doorknobs taste like copper. How do you know? Do you lick doorknobs? Oh my god. Wait, what? I'm sure there's a joke in there that I'm probably missing there, Ash. What if my doorknob is wooden? Y'all are gross. You got a Ricky during the championship series version of the event and haven't touched it since. LOL. Yeah, I, I, I've had Ricky Henderson for a very long time. It's just, I don't really want to play ranked seasons right now. So, and I've already finished the BR program. So if I want to play online, it's play the event because then you can grind for rewards, awards. But I, I feel that, Falcon. I feel that. I'm about looking the Liberty Bell. Really, sub tape? Dang. How did that end? How did that end? Looking at a doorknob seems more normal. One time in college, someone smeared poop on your neighbor's doorknob, stuck up, stunk up the whole hall. What is wrong with people? That's like Billy Madison. That's Billy Madison level. There, I sent my proof. It's on Discord. Well, I'm not on Discord, so it doesn't exist until I look at Discord, so I'm not going to look at Discord. <laughs> I was about to eat lunch. He <laughs> he's this baseballer. Don Zimmer, he was a Cubs coach long ago. I'm pretty sure you were talking about, did you say Coach Zimmer? Assuming I would think Mike Zimmer. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yes, in the word of Barney Stinson, sometimes you gotta grab life by the crack. Dumb day. <laughs> Billy Madison level Almeo. I know, gross, sorry. You had to do what you had to do. I respect it. He <laughs> don't. Yes, Royal Burn Man. I enjoy those movies. I need to rewatch uh, Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison. Oh, get up the middle. 
dang it, Lance. I'm sorry, says yeah. Subtame. You should be. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Jay? How are you doing? <laughs> Sounds like a crappy situation to Grish. <laughs> now the puns. <laughs> that journal went to your sub for. I'm sorry to hear that, Matthew. I try almost egg try exiting out of the tab and come back on in. If it doesn't work, I will do the whole spiel for you. I believe you. And hopefully it pops up. Dang it. Oh my god, but it's against the shift. That's gonna be an infield single for Eddie Rosario. Let's go. <laughs> A floating shopping list. It abrupts. I know, but it's a beautiful quote. So inspirational. Very, I'm feeling very inspired right now. Milk, eggs, cheese. You have a shirt with Sandler's face on it with that phrase and smallish lettering below him. Always gets a good laugh. When people can read it, I love it. Ooh, get to second there. Nice. He's safe. He's in there. All right, base hit. Eddie should hopefully be home. Dang it, Chris. At least it's foul. Really barrel one up there, absolutely torched by Eddie. I know, 125 for a reason, folks. 125 for a reason. To get hits just like that. So just because I enjoyed making that Geico commercial edit so much, here's a new one. Oh my god, I'll check it out in one moment. I did enjoy that Geico commercial. What a terrible at bat with Chris Taylor. Ooh, hold on, I need to make sure it's on new. Oh no, we're good. Wait, is it? Life series high damage. Oh, you tricked me! All right, I'll like it, I'll like it. That was, that was good. That was good, T-Rad. I tip my cap. I tip my cap. Begrudgingly, though, but I tip it. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me of the floating shopping list. Get up the middle. Let's go. 55 speed. Should be safe. Should be safe. Is safe. Uh, was your brother seeing your quote? And mine was, I'm not a shopping list. I'm a ghost. Rick roll? Nah, 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 nah. Trout roll. GG's. GG's. You got me. You got me. I'm sad about it, though. Braves really exceeded your expectations. You have to say you're impressed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Freaking Lily. Them and the Nationals in 2019. Talk about not getting down and getting the job done. Very awesome stuff. Terrible swing by Carlos. But we're up after one. Go Braves. Been a long time for that. G to the G, Royal. That is very awesome stuff. I was just saying, I was young when the White Sox won in an 05. I was almost six years old, um, but I wasn't a big baseball fan uh, then. So I'm really excited to experience like a World Series victory from my favorite team, hopefully in the next three years as a White Sox fan. Had to spend too much on Fanatics last night. You can never spend too much on championship merch. Mad respect, mad respect. Still nothing? Dang it. I'm sorry to hear that, Matthew, but I got you. So let me pause this real quick and welcome you back on into the Sand Squad sub family. I'm trying to figure out how to change that so it doesn't take up too much time. Forgive me, but welcome back on into the Sand Squad sub family, Matthew. I really appreciate the continued support. Continue to enjoy those emotes and sub badges. I see that silver one next to your name right now. Five months. That is honestly incredible. Almost two, half a freaking year. That's really dope stuff, and I really appreciate that, Matthew. So thank you so much. I'm sorry it's not showing up for you. Hopefully it will soon. I know Slime's Twitch Prime subs can be a little interesting. Oh, what's up, Mo Jonas? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Sand Squad. Hope all is well. Or an enigma, says Error. <laughs> Instagram beast on some sort of substance that's down again. Insta's down? Dang. You have no idea how Max Freed got his ankle. Uh, stepped on and acted like nothing happened and looked way worse than it apparently was, right? I agree 100%. It's nice hearing Braves fans say that they've been waiting a long time for this. Reminds me of how you felt last year. Definitely understandable. You found out on Twitter. Makes sense. You usually find out on other social media when one social media is down. What's up, Irish Ice? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Sand Squad. Hope all is well. We got ourselves a tied ball game now. Wow, actually pronounced my name right. Yo, let's go. I appreciate you, Mo. Always, 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 if I ever mispronounce something, never feel bad for correcting me. It is my duty and my utmost respect to be able to pronounce all of your names correctly. With that being said, it's always nice to get it right on the first try. You were negative 10 when the Dodgers won the World Series before last year? Wow. It's crazy. How did it feel to be negative 10? Because if Brantley had metal spikes, it would have been worse. Oh, for sure, oh. for sure. You're starting a conspiracy theory that Max Freed is Gumby, and that's why he didn't break his ankle. <laughs> a twinkle in his father's eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got really lucky that Brantley was wearing TPU cleats instead of metal. Because that's what my first thought was. I was like, what kind of cleats was Brantley using? Because no way if those are metal are you surviving that. 
your ankle. Yo, what's up, stick? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Top of the seconds, not really treating me kindly right now. Quite rude, if you ask me. Ashley has called me Robonick, Robonick, but never Robonick 37 or 37. Would you like me to call you Robonick 37 or 37? Dang it. Perfect throw home, but uh, probably gonna be safe, yeah. Sad. Now we're down. Now we're down. The Gumby Show has weirder vibes than horror movies. Change my mind. Have I seen The Gumby Show? I, I, I've heard of it. I don't think I've seen it. Nah, leave the 37 out. Uh, out, haha. <laughs> okay, 37. You wanted me to keep it in, right? Max Reed shifted into gear only that uh, only the greats can shift into last night. Guy is going to be around a long time. Oh my god, for sure. Very exciting stuff. Yo, what's up, Jay the Great? You're just surprised that the body weight of an adult athlete didn't break it, let alone the, the cleats. That's a great point, especially with how his ankle was angled. I guess credit to his tendons, you know? And ligaments. The Angels are your favorite team and won the World Series when you were five months old, so I guess they won one in your lifetime. Nah, you, you need a real, like a real, real one. You know what I'm saying? Good morning, Zach. How we doing? Wait, morning? Aren't you in Eastern time zone? It's 3.30 in the afternoon. Well, almost 3.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, says Zach. Well, good morning. Okay, we have some comebacking to do. We got the Lucas Julie Don't Know Hitter shirt on. So, that's gonna bring us good luck because I said so. You want Mike Trout to get a World Series so bad, right? He and Shohei. It was a shame Trout wasn't healthy to compliment Shohei throughout this season. They would have just destroyed destroyed i know their pitching is still in question but offensively just destroyed still you're sure you saw af today he kind of hinted that last night oh for sure he was running on adrenaline we pull all nighters to grind no you need your sleep but where were you grinding dang it thought the guardians are gonna win go. in a few years ago me too as a white Sox fan i was not a fan of the cubs winning it instead it's not afternoon until you finished a pot and a half of coffee. Hmm. I respect it though. Pot and a half among us. That's what I'm saying, derp. <laughs> oh yeah, do we officially change our lexicon to guardians as of today? I think so, which is a good move. But they're also in like the lawsuit with the with the the roller derby rink. I'm sure that'll be settled with some money. I'm not sure though. Getting ready for, getting ready for college basketball. Nice. What a terrible second inning. Right, right. Well, if we make it to the third inning in a one-score game, we are going to walk this off. Cleveland baseball team it is. I'm not going to lie. Washington football team does have a ring to it. I'm, I would not be mad if they keep it if they, and they don't change it. Do we keep Lance in the game? I think we have to bring in someone new. I think we have to bring in someone new. Advocating for Cleveland bubblegum? Disrespectful. The bubblegum are only in Chicago. But I would be willing to negotiate. I would be willing to negotiate <laughs> with Cleveland. <laughs> I'm sure that lawsuit would be settled. I agree 100%. Didn't really seem like he had uh, a basis due to the team allegedly trying to contact the roller derby team for a while. Gotcha. It will absolutely be settled. They'll be the Cleveland Guardians. Maybe they should be called the Cleveland Warriors. I'm sure they love that. <laughs> They should just, every team should be the, Cle the Cleveland Cavaliers. I don't know. No! Pain. This is my name. That's my game. And my scene. Ooh, that had some really weird movement. Cleveland Cavaliers in baseball. Absolutely. I mean, Cavaliers is a much better name than the Browns. I still laugh at the name. <laughs> what team do you root for? Oh, the Browns. Like, what? Some guy's name, okay? The Mighty Cavaliers of Cleveland. Alright. Let's do this. Need to go into the bottom third, just down one run. <gasps> How dare you steal? steal. No well, we got a no two count on us, so... Mm. Just worry about the batter in front of us. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. You like it? You think Cleveland is cool? I mean, I've never heard anyone say I'm going to Cleveland on vacation. What's so good about Cleveland, Joe Manoa? Didn't uh, NBC Sports Chicago Twitter account parody that with the White Sox, though? Oh. They did it in very poor taste, however. 
We have reds, browns, blues. What's next? Purples? Yeah. Yeah. Just drop the city from the name and then have uh, have them draw a number from a hat. Today's matchup is the Chicago White Sox versus Team 31. Team 31, please report to the clubhouse. Team 31, please report to the clubhouse. <laughs> I like that. I like it like that. Mm, one more time. Come on, Rowdy. Kept you on the bench for a reason. For this moment right here. You know Cleveland Brown from Family Guy? I do. And like, well, the Cleveland Brown show. Doesn't he have his own show? Shoot, wait. I need a righty. Hold on. Or Ozzy Albies, the switch, the switch hitter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or Acuna. Ooh, it's actually going to be Albies. <laughs> Cleveland isn't as bad as people say. Your friend and I went there for a weekend and see Tommy get his number retired since he's a big Guardians fan. That's awesome. Nah, people... Just like to be petty. Oh, that's, that's basically what it's about. It's Two on count to Ozzy. Three one oh, count to Ozzy. Could the tying run get on base after one more pitch? That was the pitch, and I swung at it anyway. Or the three one green light. Says who? Says me. All I know is pain. Don't share my sweet secret. I like people to think I don't enjoy being petty. Your secret's safe with me. Hey, chat, do you want to hear something? <laughs> that was a very generous strike. Yo, what's up, Manuel? How are you doing today? No, 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 no. Because of that strike call, I feel like I have to swing at everything now. Dang it, dang it. Interesting fact I just found out. Brantley had rubber cleats on when he stepped on Freed's ankle. DeGruge, we literally just said that. Come on. Get with the times. Get with the program. Slash ban, DeGruge. Slash ban. Oh. Dang. That that strike call against Albies. That was brutal. But we still have Eddie Rosario batting a perfect one for one. Can he go for two for two? Oh my god, that was the pitch and I missed it like a doofus. Yo, what's up, Kasabe? How are you? How many times have I gone 12 and 0? Zero. I don't play enough or consistently enough on BR to go 12 and 0. Unless you're talking about the event. The best I've done in the event, I think it was 9 or 10 and 0. Could have found out earlier if you just read. But I can't read. I got the count. The doesn't have eyes. A lot of outfielders use rubber cleats from what you know. It makes sense, because they're obviously on the grass and not the dirt. Ooh, going against the shift. The comeback is still very much alive. Papa Boss with the raid. Welcome on in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, y'all. Please click that link that Dude Food dropped in clack in chat, excuse me, and give Papa Vaz a big old follow. Incredible human. How was the stream? What were we up to? Hopefully everything is going well. Taco with the 18 month resub. I gotta pause. I gotta pause. Taco, thank you. And welcome back on into the Sand Squad sub family, Taco. Keep on enjoying those emotes and sub badges. Thank you so much for the continued support. 18 months, a year and a half, Taco. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly appreciate you. Hello, hello, hello. GG to the Braves. Absolutely, Papa Vaz, for sure. Ooh, a, twi a Twins team build and rank. That's very exciting. Hopefully that one well. What's up, Taco? You absolutely love to see it. I hope you all are doing well today. Chris Taylor. A smidge too early on what should have been a walk-off two-run home run. That's sad. I'm sorry I couldn't finish that off for you all. That, that's sad. We demolished that pitch. Dang it. Well, let's get into the next one. Get into the next one. But welcome on in, everyone. I hope everyone's having a fantastic Wednesday. Deepest part of the yard, unfortunately. The Jurassic Bubble didn't want me to win. No, you are 100% okay, Papa Vaz. I appreciate you. Dang, I go and say hello to someone and come back with a cool fact and I get crushed? Yes, exactly. <laughs> One more win from 30 and rank? Yes! Go get that World Series card, Jim. GG's. Absolutely. Isn't it crazy that baseball season is over now? We're in the off season? It's, it's wild. It's wild. 
But welcome on in everyone from Papa Stream. I hope you're doing well. For those of you who don't know me, hey, hi, hello, hi, what's up? I'm Ashley, huge White Sox fan. And uh, we're just trying to finish up playing the postseason event. I'm at, I think, what, 48 wins? We'll see if I get to 60 wins to get that second event flashback pack in this program. I figured it'd be a nice little way to kind of say goodbye to the MLB season, hello to the off season, and uh, still be able to play you some of these postseason cards that are so incredible. Boom, roasted. <laughs> What's up, Burn Man? About being 12-0, I find it really impressive. I dropped my controller. Uh, you can get World Series but struggle with VR. It is definitely very, very difficult. It's hard to win anything 12 times in a row perfectly. It's always baseball season. We've been that's exactly it. That's exactly it, duo. Who's ready for some homers? Me! We should have had the homer right there, but we got robbed. Hi there. Hi. Hello, hello, bonjour. Oh, oh, oh. Como se va? What's up, C-Mac? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Sand Squad. Y'all are funny. Y'all got jokes today, I see. Hi, new here. I'm DeGroosh. Hi, DeGroosh. Or hi, new here. I'm DeGroosh. Hope we're doing well, new here. I'm DeGroosh. Are we going to be able to find an opponent? We're probably going to get someone who's rated 2,500. I'm not prepared for it. Um, if we can't find an opponent, if we can't find an opponent, I do still need to do the Halloween Conquest map. We can definitely uh, switch gears if we have to. Absolutely. I'm actually going to back out of this and try one more time. Or we might have to go play some Conquest if we can't find anyone. We'll see. I'm sure we'll be able to find someone. I would still like to play this event. I'll load up again! No, t ran no! Yo, what's up, D-Star? Good afternoon. How are you? Hopefully all is well. You have permission to boot new people. <laughs> no, Darush is, is, is a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A shadow ban. I'm glad the Braves won. GG to your team there, Birdman. Very fun stuff. It's gonna be difficult to find a, t a team to play, it looks like. We'll see. We'll see. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I mean, way to not fold after losing Acuna Jr. early in the season. Getting pieces before the trade deadline, having the team come together, and then put up such a great end to the regular season, giving yourself a chance to make it to the postseason. All you need is to make it to the postseason. You just got to make it to the dance, and then you never know what's going to happen. Very, very awesome stuff for Atlanta. Even for non-Atlanta fans, it's very exciting for the team. You're good as the comeback queen hitting home runs like only I know she can. I wish. Well, I mean, yes, we are hitting home runs. I should have had a walk-off home run in the game we just finished playing, but I was just a smidge too early, but I squared up a, a hanging slider low in the zone. Can a slider be a hanger if it's low in the zone? I guess a slider in the middle of the zone low in the zone is still crushable, whether or not it's considered a hanger. Uh, we will start Logan Webb this game. But hopefully we got some power in this one, D Stark. So we'll see what happens. As I see all parallel fives on the screen. Whew! No all parallel fives. I got nervous. Once I said it, I got nervous. Hey, we're playing in Houston. Let's pretend to be the Braves and win there. You know, get it? Because game six. Get it? Get it? Get it? Okay. I'll see. Okay. <laughs> Alright, come on, Tommy. He's had a much better day today at the plate. A lot of perfect perfects. Just ask, just ask T-Rad. Should play a target field of ballpark to end all ballparks. I am not going to lie. Minute Maid Park is probably my least favorite field to play online. I just have a hard time seeing the baseball here. Nothing against the aesthetics of it. I just have a hard time like seeing. Too soon, Ashley. Hit the one out of the stadium like Solaire. Still don't know how that ball ever landed. If you, if you tank, you gotta do a controller flip? Ooh. I like that idea. Instead, Eddie's gonna bloop it for a hit. I think Eddie's three for three right now. I see a Rosario. We're not gonna hit home runs with a home run hitting card. We're just gonna get blue pits. We're just gonna get blue pits that we probably did not earn. I guess hence the meaning of a blue pit. It's not really earned to begin with. I like the controller flip idea. That's actually really funny. Dang it. Very late on that one. I should not have been. Better's I could be a little bigger. I agree. It just seems like there's a glare, too, from the corners. Dang it. Come on, Chris. We're too good to chase like that. Good take, good take. 
tied in the count to two. We are losing it a little bit. Losing it with our timing, losing it with our PCI placement. Got to go back to the fundamentals. Maybe that gets up the middle. I doubt it. I doubt it. 80 speed, though. He will beat it out. We do avoid the double play, which is the good part. Because that keeps it alive for batting 1,000 Yordan Alvarez. Can he remain batting perfect? We need the power here. Do I power swing? All right, I did power swing there. Oh, and it paid off. And it paid off. Power swing Yordan. Runners are in first and third. We still have two outs. Carlos Correa is going to have to uh, notch a base hit here in his own in his own ballpark. Thank you, Avid. Does that get through the right side? Unfortunately, it does not. To the pitching side we go. What's up, Sam King? How we doing? Chad rule number one gets violated so often in here. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. Always, always keeping an eye. It's always good to know when people are joking first. But it's definitely a very, very important rule. And that is a big swing for out number one on pitch number one in the bottom of the first. Future Tiger Korea, I think it's going to happen. That's okay. If the White Sox can get Marcus Simeon, I'm all down for that. Um, I will warm up the bullpen so I don't forget. And go from there. What's up, Salmon? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Ozzy Albies with a 1-1-1 batting average. That's actually kind of cool. Obviously, not a good batting average, but the fact that it's 1-1-1 is interesting. That's what, 1 for 11, I think is 1-1-1? No, one no, 1 count. for 9, 1 for 9, 1 for 9 is 1-1-1. So that's a little tough start for Ozzy. And he'll be 1 for 12. <laughs> What's up, Jordan? How are you? Hopefully all is well. Getting hungry. I had leftover pasta for lunch, but we didn't have a whole lot left over, so I finished it. But I'm still hungry. I'm always hungry. All the time. <laughs> if I had an 11, a 1-1-1 one, one, one average, you'd personally be happy, right? The fact that you even got a hit in Major League Baseball is quite incredible. Tough. Dang, I misplayed that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's getting the ball now? Okay, that was bad. Very bad. Yo, what's up, Nate? How are you? Dang, 3 one at bat. That's tough. <laughs> you know Griffey Jr., but which version of Griffey Jr.? The White Sox Griffey Jr., of course. White Sox legend Griffey Jr. <laughs> what kind of pasta? It was a pasta bake. So, um... What was... It was a penne pasta. Penne pasta. So, kind of like a... What's the word I'm looking for? Masticholi. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot, that dang slider. It, I need it either out of the zone, but it... No excuse for that. No excuse for that. White Sox legend Tatis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Craving some chicken pesto pasta? Ooh. That actually was out of the zone. My opponent just put a great swing on that baseball. That's tough. But I know we will come back and get some runs. Why am I blinking on? Let me see. Yeah, Masacholi. I was right. Masacholi. I don't know why I blinked or thought I blinked, but yeah, Masacholi. You love pesto. Then you add Korea a watch celebration to the game. Yes. Pesto on pizza is amazing too. I've heard about that. I've not had it, but I've heard people enjoy it. You have a friend who made his major league debut this year, got one hit. He's oh, one for count. one in his career so far. Let's get it, Josh. Talk about having a perfect career. Am I right or am I right? Ha 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 ha. Ding it, Devers. No balls, two strikes. I'm very much in swing mode right now and don't want to be patient, but I'm going to have to be patient. I'm still upset about that slider, not going to lie. I just got to let it go. <clears throat> like Elsa. Got him. Like Elsa. Frozen 2. Speaking of Elsa and Frozen, Frozen 2 came out, what, two years ago? Toward more the end of the month, end of November, maybe in, in October. I saw I saw it on the premiere day. It was really fun. And then I had an organic chemistry exam the next morning, which was not fun. Yo, what's up, Jackie? 2018? No, Frozen 2 was 2019. Lucas Giolito was 2018. 
Do I think they'll have TA4 or not? They do already have TA4. I'm sure you mean TA5 that comes out November 19th. Are you kidding me? Dang it. 2018. 2018. A uh, Mickey Mouse? We were just having that conversation about Mickey Mouse. How did that start? Didn't it start with the Dodgers somehow? Because of Disneyland? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that I threw a slider that wasn't good and now I'm losing. And now I'm sad. Thank you, D-Stark. We will. We were. The Lakers. 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 This dude's an all-star. Yes, Blend Lifestyle. Do I have to say it because I'm rocking the t-shirt? I think I do. I think I do. Someone's got to put 2018 in chat again first. Okay, I'll just do it. <laughs> you don't believe in the Dodgers Big Mouse Theory, but had to do something to make it work. Go on. I'm, I'm curious. I'm listening. Dang it. I know it's an owl, but that's a bad pitch. Got him. This dude's an all-star. There's a there's a White Sox virtual online garage sale on November 19th. Oh my god, everything. That's my brother's birthday too, November 19th. So many things happening. So one of the things happening is there the White Sox are doing a holiday sale on November 19th. I checked it out last year and th Are you kidding me? I checked it out last year. Because I really want to purchase a used batting helmet. But the ones last year were all generic. They didn't really have a particular player and they were mislabeled on the website. I really want to check it out again this year. Because I, I would like to make it some sort of like cool channel point redemption. Where I would like have to wear it or something. I feel like I have to replay that. That's a routine play. That's a routine backhand play. And it hits his wrapped up wrist. Gold fielders. Oof, I said that Hydra Packers. Get to that right now. Fit 2018 into something for the flourishment of discussion. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Bring back the top sound no hitter Giolito last year, right? I do enjoy his milestone no hitter this year, though. Dodger title is legit. It is. This is coming from a race fan. Everyone had the same condition in 2020. Calling it a Mickey Mouse title makes no sense. I we agree 100% derp dog. I, we actually had this conversation a week or two ago. You're 100% correct. Whichever team was going to win that 60 that 60 game season was gonna be like, oh, it doesn't count. But if it's your team, of course it's going to count. Exactly. Must have hit a pebble, right, Justin? That's what I'm saying. Welcome on in. But anywho, 2018 worst pitcher in baseball. But he had something you couldn't see in the stats. Belief that the numbers didn't define him. One season oh later, this dude's an all-star. Guaranteed rate field will help you pay your mortgage. Will it? I don't know. <laughs> More of the story, lots of sports fans are dumb. I mean, you're not wrong. But yeah, time to rage. Well, considering I'm not doing so hot right now, it's a little frustrating. What's up, Brody? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Sand Squad. Hope all is well. I'm like really hungry right now. I blame that on the hunger. GR sponsorship all but locked up. Quick, let me let me let me check my missed calls right now. Oof. Nope, nope, just an email. Tough, 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 tough. Love how we have a Gatorade bottle so Twitch can't see your TOS beverage. There is only water in this Gatorade bottle for the irony, of course. Though I do like Gatorade. <laughs> What's up, Brody? Welcome on in. I apologize for the terrible score you're witnessing. But it happens. Underdog of the postseason, for sure. 99 Lin is the White Sox TA5 card. You're just speculating here. I think it's got to be Yohan Moncada. That's my opinion. He only has a 91 Future Stars card or Prospect card. I think it has to be Yohan Moncada. I could be wrong, though. At least I want it to be Yo-Yo. Which is all that matters. We're going to get a 99 Solar. I'm very excited about that. 99 Yohan would be dope. But if they made him a bronze, oof. Got to be cease. Cease has a Tops Now card, is he not? Yeah, Cease has a Tops Now. It's not a 99, though. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like we have so many uh, pitchers. Spider Tech would make anyone an all-star. Just joking. Lucas is legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to fight you, Ed. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
Kopec or Cease? Uh, it would probably be Kopec over. No, Kopec has the 99, does he not? He has that, like, henchman one. It won't be Kopec. I don't think it's Kopec or... I really just don't want a pitcher, I guess. I really don't want a pitcher. With that being said, that means we're probably gonna get a pitcher. But yeah. Oh, you know this person, Brody? Noise. Yeah, I've just been I've just played a terrible game right now. It's an 87. I thought he had like a 90. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Should we just do the Halloween conquest map? These last two games have been brutal. I blame T Red. We are bopping. We are 3 0. And then T Red comes in. And now Eddie Rosario is four for four. Oh, get this man some Wendy's! Get him some Wendy's! He's four for four! Good. Now I'm happy. <laughs> Tigers is a cube do for sure, for sure. Who would be for the years? Uh, wait, what do you mean, Christopher? He's going to Wendy's. Give this man a Frosty. Upgrade that four for four drink. <laughs> He's going to Wendy's all mail. <laughs> Who would it be for the Yankees? That's a good question. I don't know. This is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. We take our Wendy's 4 for 4 very seriously. Unfortunately, I can't say that about some other uh, MLB content creator streamer who does something called chat franchise on... Oh my god, what is today? Wednesday on Wednesdays? And you ask him, hey, can you please go 4 for 4? And he's like, nah, I'm gonna go 0 for 4. And then you're just sad. And it's quite disappointing. I'm not gonna name names, dude food, but like, yeah. I laugh because legit, anytime I have something going four for four in a game, I literally call it going to Wendy's. Yes, error. Exactly. Logan Webb, parallel one. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you, Logan Webb. So, do we make a new team or do I do the conquest? I don't think I'm going to get to 60 wins. I don't know if I really want to play 12 more, 12 more games to get 12 more wins. I think we should end today. Ooh, what did I earn? Playing the conquest. Because we can finish that. Um, if we are gonna play the conquest, let me make sure it's on my parallel squad. Alfonso Soriano is very close. Yeah, 98-57. Oh, yeah, you can see that. So, let's try to get him to P5. Built different, mm-hmm. I think the Yankees have two TA5 cards? Ooh. Yeah, do you think they're gonna have, like, subsets of TA cards? We'll see, we'll see. Yo, what's up, Emerus? T-Red ruin our momentum in events, so now we're playing conquest. That's the new title. It's going to be November Halloween, hold on, November Hallo Halloween Conquest. I really want to know, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Who was like, you know what? We got a jack-o'-lantern conquest, a pumpkin conquest map. And someone was probably like, oh, great, you're going to drop it on Halloween? And then whoever was like, haha, no. We're gonna drop it in November after Halloween. That's spooky. That's spooky. And you know what? I respect that. Now that I said that out loud and recognize the spooky and scariness of that, I respect that move. I respect it. All right, we have to steal 3 million fans though, so we'll get that done and over with soon. We'll probably head over to Detroit right now. That's like dropping Mr. October as Mr. November daily card, right? Who would ever do that? Couldn't be me. We got Reggie Jackson last month. You know, Jim told me he was just the bonus car. <laughs> oh my god. Red Sox would be Garrett Woodlock. Oh, that's actually a pretty good guess. Um, We're gonna play against Detroit, even though Comerica is not a fun park for me. Twins is Taylor Rogers finest. You think 99 finest Soto is gonna be gross? Ooh, absolutely. Yo, Mr. Busy Chick with the 100 bits. Thank you. What's up? May I please ask what monitor you use to replace your five? And if you recommend it or any other, um, oh, hold on. I use a HP monitor. It's HP, it's 40, it's 24 inches, it's got G-Sync, it is a hundred, it goes up to 144 hertz, obviously. PS5 does not have 144 hertz for Emily the Show. For Emily the Show, I should specify. Um, I don't think I've updated. I, I might have actually deleted the monitor command. I can update the command to give you all the particulars. I have all of that saved. I did get it on sale last November. Not a Black Friday sale, just a sale. I don't know if it's still being sold. But really, you can't go wrong for many monitors. It also has one millisecond response rate. 
if you're able to find the hertz that you wish the refresh rate, well hertz refresh rate same thing as well as the response time being basically under i think it's three or five milliseconds your eye can't detect anything less than that you're pretty solid you're pretty solid i say that hydrate survive Imagine they drop a Christmas tree conquest next week. Oh, I'm already listening to my Christmas bops playlist. I would not be uh, opposed to that. <laughs> Lesson learned, Ash. Don't lay down next to a kitten for even a minute when you're supposed to be working. They will fall asleep on your chest, and we all know you can't wake up a sleeping kitty. Facts on facts on facts. MLB with the raid. Welcome on in. How are we doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome on in. Hello, hello, hello. How was everything? How was talking about Atlanta? What a freaking postseason. Yasmani with his five speeds gonna stay at first base because it's really sad for Yasmani. Today's, what's today, Wednesday? So, Shelfie, how was the stream? Hope you're doing well. Yasmani Grandal with that blazing five speed and Tim Anderson, we're just not gonna talk about what just happened there. And Shelfie with the five month three sub, thank you so much and welcome back on into the Sand Squad sub family. Keep on enjoying those emotes and sub badges. I hope the stream went incredibly. Obviously a whole lot of fun to talk about. Uh, given the events of yesterday, I know Shelfie wanted, I believe a seven game series. Jorge Soler said, na 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 na. We're ending it in six games. <laughs> but hopefully the stream went well. Welcome on in and thank you all so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. We were playing the event. We were playing the event. But then I remembered that they had the new conquest that came out a couple of days ago. So I'm like, hmm, let's just do this conquest real quick. It shouldn't take too long. Working some parallel stats. We are using our parallel squad. Many, many players are inching closer to parallel five, which is rather exciting. Dang it, that was a bad pitch. Such a good dude, for sure, for sure. Dang it. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But welcome in, everyone. Awesome Meadows for a Ray, maybe? Or who would it be for the Blue Jays? Yeah, what are your TA5 predictions? I can kind of see Awesome Meadows getting it for the, for the Rays, not gonna lie. For the Blue Jays? Does Robbie Ray... No, Robbie Ray got the lightning. I was about to say, oh, Robbie Ray, and I forgot. He got the lightning card. Tay Oscar has a very good card. Simeon also has the lightning card, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he was the very first. He was April, if I'm not mistaken. Marcus Simeon. We'll see. We'll see. Bo for the Jays? I can definitely see Bo, for sure. What's up, Impoosh? Welcome on in. And I've all not having a good week? No, not a good week at all. Jays has to be Bo Bichette. I completely forgot we did not have a very good card of Bo Bichette yet. Can't believe the NASCAR scene is, is over. Is it over? I am not a NASCAR fan myself, but I did not know that the season was over. But it was the only one not a high diamond. We also have a 99 Springer. That's right. I completely forgot about that. Freddie Freeman again? Yes. Resign Freddie Freeman. I'm so happy for Freddie. So freaking awesome for him. I will warm up the bullpen, though I'm trying not to really use it so I can keep Lucas in for more parallel, you know. Verdugo for the Red Sox. I can definitely see that. King of Miami. Welcome on in. An 88 bow, that's right. We also have one more roster update. We have one more roster update. Who's going diamond? I'm sure we all have mighty predictions like uh, Jorge Soler to be one. What is this? NASCAR. What's up, Gibby? Yeah, feel free to check that out. I would appreciate it. Jonathan India, absolutely. I agree with that, Nate. All right, let's go put up 10 runs against the CPU. <laughs> Kike, yep, Kike Hernandez, for sure. Terrence Gore, I think, you know, he's got what three World Series rings and what was it? 67 71 total career at bats. I love that for him. Talk about having an efficient season, you know? <laughs> All right, it's bopping time. It is bopping time. Let's do this. So layer for you. Absolutely. Angel. Angel usually has a lot of stocks stocking up on cards. Angel, if you're here, what are you thinking for potential roster updates? Wow, we were just a tad too earlier. That's a home run. Tough, 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 tough. It's over this weekend. Okay, so it's not over yet, but it's pretty much almost over. Is it like the postseason for NASCAR? Forgive me for the terminology, sports. Not a fan myself. Ball, that's inside. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> All right, Schwarber with a nice, awesome 3-1 hitters count. 
Nope, He'll take a walk. Good. He'll take a walk. You have 26 solaires and 144 key case. Dang. You should have a very nice payday in a couple of days. Get the rookie of the year card. Ooh. Are they going to do award cards like that this year? I'm trying to remember if they did that last year. And I don't know. Matt Kemp. Oh, my God. Thank God that was a ground rule double because the base runners and myself had no idea what was going on right there. Left turns. What's up, Snrub? How's Mario Party been? I've been lurking a bit on some of the streams. I think I, I saw one you're doing like a 25 round game. Maybe it was a 40 and I was like, whoa, dedication. <laughs> you're thinking Solaire maybe to gold, Riley with some boost against lefties in defense, maybe to diamond. Gotcha, gotcha. Noise, 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 noise. Oh, go home, go home. Misplayed the ball. This is the 10 run plus inning that's going on. Lurking my guts. I have a pretty busy week with school. I'm, I'm studying for an exam. I'm also working on an essay. So Mario Party stream won't happen Whoa, this right week. There. However, it should be a guarantee for next week. And then, of course, um, during my winter break, I'll have a lot more time and flexibility to squeeze in more streams and extra streams. You know, Alvarez has a chance to go diamond, but he fell massively in the World Series. Hernandez maybe go diamond. Mario Party is dope, right? I'm really enjoying it. I'm very, very good at the mini games. Imagine Kike and Solera getting their Randy treatment. Hey, I would take it. I would take it. A life outside of Mario Party. People have those. I don't know. I don't know. I think Ortiz is less than a couple hundred PXP away from P5. I forgot to check actually before this game. For sure. Yeah, it's a championship. Okay, that's what I thought, Bird. David's gonna ground into a double play because I was super late on that baseball. Dang it! So much for the 10 run inning. Disappointment, disappointment. Matt Zek has to increase a lot. Maybe Will Smith too, for sure, for sure. Yes, unfortunately he did, Anthony. Hopefully he has a speedy recovery. I'm sure he will absolutely be asked about how he answered uh, the question back in August and how it seemed pretty deceitful, pretty deceiving, I should say. That's out. Pretty disappointed in that answer. Then rather a straight up yes or no, in his case, no. He's out. Do I play baseball RRO? I did try out for the boys baseball team uh, the summer before eighth grade. Unfortunately, did not make it for a list of reasons. However, I really, really enjoy the sport. I'll play, I'll play pickup with like cousins and stuff like that. I do want to join in an adult softball league. Um, I had plans to join one, and then unfortunately, the pandemic happened. With the pandemic still being ongoing, um, I did not do it this summer. I hope to do it next summer. Hope to do it next summer. Because I think that would be awesome. Gurriel did have a decent postseason. He goes diamond. I can definitely see that for sure. For sure. We'll go gold, says Angel. What are their base cards right now? Are they both silvers? Uh, I just want to see, like, the, the double, triple, quadruple jump to diamond based on postseason performance. Max Freed may go diamond as well. He has to go diamond. Especially having a dominant, a dominant start in your World Series clinching win game is pretty awesome. Softball leagues are a lot of fun. That's what I've heard. Everyone who I've talked to who's in like adult softball leagues have really enjoyed it. I feel like that's definitely something up my alley. Gary Allen career 84s. Gotcha. Ian Anderson was dominant too. Yeah. Yeah, he was. What's up, Taco? How are you? Would be shy of reaching a diamond, you think? How many? Okay, how about this? How about this? How many diamonds do you think we're getting? How many diamonds do you think we're getting? Are we getting one? Are we getting two? Are we getting ten? Like that one update? I got to kill. <laughs> Super Max is back. That he is. That he is. Let's start there. How many How many total diamond updates do you think? Not gold, not silvers, bronzes, etc. Diamonds. Because we like diamonds a lot. Alright, come on, Mickey. How is it that we were crushing in the event for three straight games, and now I can't even buy a hit against the CPU? I take that all back. We're bopping against the CPU. We're incredible. No one's stopping the Chicago Bubblegum. You're okay, you're super tired. How's the owner of the Chicago Bubblegum today? The owner of the Chicago Bubblegum is doing pretty well. Doing pretty well, and uh, she appreciates you asking. I'm sorry to hear you're super tired, though. Hopefully, get a good sleep tonight. 
help that out. I have some rest, of course, this evening. Justin, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the Sand Squad. I really appreciate that. Solaire may be possible to go gold, but if he goes diamond, my goodness, I think he should just jump and be a diamond. Why not? Why not? It's the last diamond update. You need something fancy. You need something spicy, you know? If I'm SDS, I'm going to be spicy and make Solaire a diamond. He and Kike Hernandez. Because why not, you know? Why not? Dang it, Minnie. So the owner of the Chicago Bubblegum is considering a sister city plan with Montreal. The owner of the Chicago Bubblegum says that is false. <laughs> says that is false. Uh, Kike Soler, Taylor Freed, Correa Gurriella, Growing Diamond. That is all you got right now, but could be more. I would agree. I would agree. Logan Webb has a really chance of going gold. I don't want to hear about golds. I want to hear the diamonds. Dang it, Yasmani. Oh. Chris Bryant would go back to gold. Everyone says Larson will win the championship race. Now, hold on. Let's just race and see, see who has the best car. Absolutely. I mean, we're going to win this game against the CPU, but I did expect a lot more runs. Not going to lie. Yo, Timmy, does he go Oppo Taco? Does he go Oppo Taco? No, he goes Oppo Flyouts. <laughs> Rosario, maybe? I can see that. I can definitely see that, Josh. That postseason Solaire is going to be 125 across the board, and I am excited for it. So excited for it. Congrats to the Braves. Absolutely, Jack. Welcome on in. As I give up a dinger to the CPU, it's such a good gameplay day today, if you can't tell. In five races, wow. Uh, we will keep Eckersley in, though. This is my parallel squad. He is P4, trying to get him to P5. With that being said, still have to get a couple of outs here. And by a couple, I mean three. So one more than two. Just a couple. Trevor Darno will probably go gold. Yeah, I can see that. Solaire deserved that one. Oh, 100%. Deserved that MVP. Absolutely. I'll add no. But welcome on in, Dan, even though you can't hear me at all. Can someone please say hi, Dan, in the chat for me? I'll do it right now. Outside, that's a ball. I'm going to go hi, Dan. <laughs> you can predict that early. But not Dan's be Swanson? Ad popped on? Well, I do have a suggestion. I do have a suggestion. In order to avoid ads, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you get one free sub a month on Twitch. So then you never have to watch ads, and you can just watch me only winning by two against the CPU. <laughs> Thank you, Taco Cat. You're broke, no Prime. It, that is okay. I just enjoy you all being here. Y'all are incredible. An ad for Wrigley gum? Because things with Wrigley are the best? Whoa, 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 whoa. The Chicago Bubblegum support Five Gum and Big League Chew. Well, they're Bubblegum, so I guess just Big League Chew, not Five Gum. So it's, uh, does Five Gum have Bubblegum? I don't think they do, but that's my favorite mint gum. Knowledge! What's up, Hate Weights? Welcome on in. You got a Coke coffee ad? Coca-Cola's doing coffee? Did I know that? How do you not have any timeouts in this channel? Because Dan respects the CBG and is a fellow awesome Sand Squad member. Hmm. Maybe if you treated him with respect over with the foodies, he would show you the same. Five Gum is owned by Wrigley? This is about to be the worst day of my life if it is. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yo, hate waits executing with the Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate that, hate waits. Thank you so much and welcome on into the Sand Squad sub family. Enjoy the emotes and sub badges and thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I really do appreciate that. And sub, you're awesome, hey. Thank you so much. Also, Ashley hasn't seen 2018 Dan. That is true. That is true. Dan has Dan has had a fresh slate over here. Cannot say the same in others though. <laughs> All right. Um, we are gonna go. I guess try to take over Detroit again since we're right here. We're in the neighborhood. Might as well stop by. And do it one more time. Well, I ruined Ashley's life. Confirmed. Manufactured by the Wrigley Company. They're called Five Gum, so I don't believe it. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It was so cold here, you want to move to Florida. I don't blame you, I don't blame you. Before the World Series, thought Christian Javier would be a contender to go gold, but he had a very frustrating World Series, for sure. All right, luckily we didn't really lose a lot of fans right there. So, let's go play the Tigers one more time. I really don't like stealing fans, but 
We're getting through it. We're getting through it. Lucas Giolito, 2018. P5 coming right up. Ready, tell us up to 75. We have 100 of him. Hope we go silver for exchanges in TA5. That'd be clutch, Christopher. How's it feel to chew gum with a crosstown rival? Well, I chew them and then I spit them out. And you know, it's, it's quite beautiful. It's quite beautiful. I think I actually need more gum. I think I'm on my last pack. Let me see. I don't see Wrigley on here. I don't see Wrigley on here. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sure it actually probably is. It's okay. It's okay. Best gum. Best gum. Five. Five gum. Spearmint. Cannot convince me otherwise. Do I have music and commentary turned off? I do. The commentary is a bit annoying. As for the music, copyright. DMCA. I have considered uh, using non or copyright free music through Spotify. I just haven't really found some I like. I do enjoy uh, Harris Heller and Stream Beats. I know he just came out with the uh, Christmas album a couple days ago, so I'm gonna have to listen to that and maybe we can incorporate that into stream. I would not be opposed. 39 this morning? It was cold this morning. I know I'm wearing a t-shirt right now, but that's because I'm streaming. I get a little bit of hot when I'm streaming, but I've been wearing sweatshirts. But yeah. Good to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the commentary is just a personal choice. I just don't like listening to it at, so as I play. I feel like it also like drowns out chat a little bit for me. Uh, as for the music, uh, even though it's in the game, there is that risk of DMCA. i rather not run that risk. Which is why I'm curious for Mario Party. In Mario Party, you can't turn the music off. I, I looked in the settings, unless I missed something. But maybe that's copyright free because there's like no lyrics to it. I don't know. We're still going to stream it if we get a strike. I'll cry. And Yasmani misses that. 85 Will Smith, maybe I can definitely see that. Ricky the Brothers made planes. Dude, who knows? I have questions. I believe those were the right brothers. <laughs> as much as you would like for Hori Solaire to go gold or diamond, I don't really think you should go up enough. I, I can definitely see that. I do think there should be one fun move. It might just be Kike Hernandez. Of that, just total overhaul. Make him a diamond, because why not? He'll get a he'll get a postseason card, so I wouldn't be mad if he's not a live series diamond, you know? And the rest put aside for TA5 exchanges. You're gonna need to 720 720,000 subs with Hernandez. Not sure with Solaire and buying 99 Spencer Torkelson, acquiring 99 Shohei, and having enough for TA5. There we go. It's okay, Ashley. Three strikes in your routes. I know, I understand the game of baseball, oh, dude. <laughs> and Twitch. <laughs> Mario is DMC worthy. Dang it. People have been streaming it though, and I believe with the music, like big streamers, like I, I follow a couple of like Mario streamers who I really enjoy. Uh, DGR Dave is one of my favorites. I'll have to see what I can do, but we will be streaming it. We will be streaming it. 2018 worst pitcher in baseball, but you know what, Dan? He had something you couldn't see in the stats. Hey. Belief that the numbers didn't define him. One season later, this dude's an all-star. I'm going to miss that commercial next year if, if they don't play it or if they make a new one. Uh, getting DMCA for video game music is something Twitch needs that shot. I agree 100% clue. 100%. Schwarber was a solid chance going diamond when the ALCS performed ab abysmally and his homers and slugging are all against the righties. Is no 2018 ring Red Sox greater than, greater than, greater than? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he would not be a diamond. I see, I see. Kikuchi's awesome. Dang it. After his posting, he just has to get to silver. For sure. I He will. He will. I'd be surprised if he doesn't. Yo, what's up, So? How we doing? The count is one Welcome two. on in. We're just finishing up the Halloween Conquest map that came out in November. It was pretty spooky. It was a, it was a pretty smart call, I would think. <laughs> uh, but GG to your Braves. Am I really losing to the Tigers right now? A dang Jonathan Scope against the CBG, against the Chicago White Sox. Doesn't matter. Just in time for spooky season, right? And there we go, Taco Cat. The Tigers are bad. I know they're bad, but I'm also playing very poorly today. It's okay. Comeback season for a reason. This emote exists for a reason. I'm not going to let you all down. Scope too good. He is very good. I enjoy, is it a top snell card that he has? I, I love playing with that card in the event all the time. Just blame Comerica where home runs go to die. Oh. Honestly, though, y'all saw Yasmani. He should have a two-run home run. It was just a flyout. It was just a flyout. Scope is the finest. 
Or he will be a finest, you think? Tigers have some potential. They absolutely have some potential, for sure. All right. Well, let's try this again. You came back to beat the Tigers 2-1 yesterday. GG's, Packers. Nice little comeback. Yeah, Kiel Badu's gonna get the finest. Kyle Schwarber, Oppo Taco. Let me see the emotes. Let's go. Found this in Google. Hope it helps. Open the pause menu. Go to options. Select audio. Set the play. Copyright music setting to off. Oh. Yo, let's go, DeGroosh. Thank you. I appreciate that. If you have to come back against the Tigers, there's something wrong. Well, you know what? We're, we don't because it's tied right now. Cubs legend shore bomb. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Dang it. Let's go, Taco. Let's go, Dirt. Does Rainy or Razor Reyna go back to Diamond? I hope so. Uh, please forget that at bat with Matt Kemp. Please just forget that from your memory. It was 1-0 before the bomb. I don't recall. Well, I was beneficial only once a month. Yay, good deed done. I'm proud of you, DeGroosh. Clip it, chat! You know, you are chat. You could clip that, Dan. Is Kemp still in the league? I don't think so. Maybe, actually. I don't think he's not, though. I don't know. Soriano! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Yes! Soriano, he's so close to parallel five. He's so close. Let's go. Let's go. David Ortiz time. It's green 19. Green 19 and green 18. Green 18. Getting pretty old. Yeah. He has one of the best swings in this game, though. I really do enjoy it. Let's go, Taco. He's out. Taco for a taco. In chat. I'm chat and what am I clipping? Bunk, you did not. You're great, Bunk. You're great. <laughs> you are great. One oh. Oh my goodness. All right. Come on, Mickey Mantle. And it won no count. Nope, that's off the plate. Ball two. You get to see that big butthead on Friday? Who's the big butthead? Many names have come to mind. No, I'm kidding. Mickey Mantle? Does it stay fair? No! Why do you have to give me that animation then? Oh, that's a terrible PCI too. Kemp wasn't in the league this year. He was with the Rockies last year. Gotcha. You have O'Neal in left field, Mantle in center, and Mays in right. Uh, is that a good outfield? Yeah, that's 100% a good outfield. For sure. Oh, I see you, Bunk. Enjoy, enjoy. All right, Mini Minoso. He's been over. It's quite rude, I would say. He should not be over. And he continues to be over. <laughs> Bunk is excited. Uh, what do you play on in Conquest? Um, this one's All-Star. But I typically prefer Hall of Fame Legend. I just don't want to really, like, think about it right now. John Sleep on Endeavors. He has a shot going diamond. Now he's been hitting well versus lefties. Nice. Washed. Who's washed? Nice bullpen. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is the P5 team. So uh, it's, it's using cards that either are close to Parallel 5 or I want them to be Parallel 5. Obviously, sub substitute cards out um, as they earn Parallel 5 status. Nice and warm. Kirby Yates, any good? Um, I don't think I've used that card, to be honest with you. The arm barn. Got a ring to it, not gonna lie. Inside, ball one. Is snow precipitation? Uh, yeah. So it's a form of... Because you, you assume... Rain is precipitation. Snow is a form of rain. It's just rain that has less heat. Because cold is not a thing. You just have less heat. So yeah. I would say so. Are you in a meteorology class right now, Dan? You notice that Kirby Yates' fastball uh, goes a little down and sideways. That is really nice to have that late movement. That's something like in real life Carson Fulmer had, but he could never really harness it nor control it, which is pretty, pretty sad because he did have a very lively fastball, uh, but it usually flattened out more than it did anything good. And then also uh, impacted his lack of control. Meteorologist Sanders. <laughs> Meteorologist here. This checks out. Let's go, Dove. Let's go. What's the second way water leaves the atmosphere besides precipitation then? Like, leaving the atmosphere? 
Did I ever take a meteorology? Now I'm thinking in science, in eighth grade science, we had a meteor well, one, no meteorology fight. unit. Meteorology unit. I don't know if I ever took like a specified class. I just remember in third grade, was it third grade? We had a song. It was like, um, uh, what was the song? It was condensation and then you like, you map out a cloud. Condensation, precipitation, evaporation. I still remember that. I still remember that. Water evaporation. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Comerica is the worst ballpark in MLB. Uh, CF is 420 despite it being at sea level. No roofs. Open day is played in three feet of snow. Yeah, it's not so very fun. That's how it gets back into the clouds. Yeah, you have condensation. He's out. Precipitation. He's He's evaporation. Quite a song. Quite, quite a lot of awesome hand movements. Uh, but yeah, but yeah. Have you seen Tropicana Field? That place is ugly. Sorry, Rays fans. I have. I've been to Tropicana Field a lot. Uh, I have family who lives five minutes away. They're also in St. Pete. No, it's not the prettiest. It's not the prettiest, but I do. They have good food. And honestly, if you have good food, I don't really care what your stadium looks like. <laughs> who would it be for the Angels for finest? I'm not sure. Not sure. Comerica is straight up one of the most relaxing places to be. Really? I've never been to Comerica. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Tampa, Pan Tampa Bay Rays should move to, drumroll please, Tampa. What an idea, Taco. What an idea. You're not wrong. Um, I'm actually going to go to the bullpen. Nope. That's inside. Get Rob Dibble in here. Easy. Easy, says Dan. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Okay, so like I know I'm in the Christmas mood, but now I'm thinking about Thanksgiving and how I really want mashed potatoes right now. I blame my hunger. What's up, Mystic Falcon? Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the Sand Squad. You love the atmosphere of Tropicana. You were there this summer. You had a great time. Yeah, I've been there five times, and I've enjoyed it each of the five times. I will say, I will say, security is a little bitter. If you do not have a seat, uh, in the very front, you can't stand there for autographs, which is a bit disappointing. But luck luckily, because I have seen the White Sox down there, uh, they're still throwing balls. You can toss them stuff to sign, which is really nice of the team. It's still too early to be thinking about Christmas. Um, according to me, it is November 3rd, which means two days ago and beyond. <laughs> He's one of the two worst owners in MLB history. Who's the second? And why is it Jerry Reinstorf? Camden Yards is a great atmosphere for a losing team. I really want to make it out to Camden Yards. That and PNC Park. That and PNC Park. I would love that. Pirates owner. Um, it's possible. I, I know I've mentioned this on stream a couple of times. My my friend's family currently moved from Illinois to Colorado. Uh, they're near the Denver area. Um, the White Sox play the Rockies uh, two days uh, toward the end of July. So there's a very good chance I might be visiting Coors Field uh, come July 2022. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about that prospect. I hope it comes to fruition. It is Christmas season. Thank you, Christopher. You love PNC? I've heard nothing but good things about that ballpark. What the? Mini! What are you doing? That was a mini. No, yeah, that is because I have Soriano at left field right now. Dang it. It is. It is chat franchise day, Dan. I'll be there. For my four for four. I try to time it so I'm the fourth comment, so I'm fourth on the list. I was fifth last week after a streak of four. It's pretty sad. Pretty sad. Comes are coming to New York next year and all your friends are Yankees fans. Unfortunately, can't wait. Well, hope you still enjoy the game, of course. Ooh, it wasn't a perfect throw. So be safe. Christmas Eve is when you can legally talk about Christmas here in Florida. That's because it's not cold yet. Dang it. What are we doing? Why is Rob Dibble self-destructing? Oh my god, he's out at home. Easily out at home. Don't run on me. GG's. Let's get it. You gotta say it weirdly. What, chat franchise? So cat franchise? <laughs> you like course sit on the right field side and you can see the mountains. Ooh, I will keep that in mind. Uh, which side is the home team's dugout? I usually like sitting um, So like for example guarantee right field the White Sox are on the left side. So I like to sit somewhere on the left side 
I will figure that out. What's up, Greg? You started singing Christmas carols the other night at work in your head and people are like, wait, it's not even December. And I'm like, I sing those songs all year long. Okay, all year long, no. November beyond, yeah. AL West? Wait, did I not fin- Wait, I got a team affinity pack? What? Did I, did I not finish the AL West? I mean, now it's finished. Now it's finished. I guess I'm all caught up for November 19th. That's kind of funny. I kind of want to open that pack up right now. Who was I waiting on? Who was I waiting on? Ah, I was waiting on Jim Edmonds. Well, wait no more, Jim. Welcome to the CBG Elaine Sanders. <laughs> All right, we just need two more wins in this conquest and then it's over. We should definitely get that done. Deer took away the home run statue, the home plate aquariums, and drained the pool. The pool's gone in Miami? So wait, who who has a pool now? Is it only the Diamondbacks? Are the Diamondbacks the last stadium with the pool? Oh my god, that's terrible. I didn't know that. You can't just get rid of the stadium pool. As soon as Thanksgiving meal is finished, that's when you can start. You know what? I respect that you wish to celebrate then. I'ma celebrate now. And then it'll be Thanksgiving break time, and I'll, I'll, I'll pause the celebration, focus on my Thanksgiving, focus on my extra food, and then, and then we resume. And then we resume. Yeah, just Arizona? Dang. I did not know that. All right, let's start heading toward San Francisco. And then I'll fill in, I'll fill in the gaps uh, once we beat these two teams and finish the map. You have a pool? My one goal in life, well, I have several goals in life. A big goal of mine is that wherever I live in the future, I would like to have a pool. I, I, I don't have a pool in my childhood, childhood house. One day, I would like to live in a place that has a pool, whether it's an apartment building, you know, a house house. I would like to have a pool. Gotta climb the ladder, put the lights up on Saturday. Let's go, taco! Send pictures. I want to see the lights. 99 finest Ashley card. Well, I appreciate that. Marlon's attendance stinks. How can you improve it? Take away all the fun stuff, right? Right? Yo, what's up, Rami? Just checking in, catching you grinding out. Go get them. I appreciate you, Rami. Hope you're doing well this Wednesday afternoon. We're finishing the conquest map for Halloween that came out in November. Call me Taco Claus. I got you, Taco Claus. <laughs> White Sox finest card, Ashley Sanders 99. Thank you, Brady. Thank you, Packers. Y'all are too kind. Y'all are too kind. Mr. November. Yeah, I don't know who Mr. October is. I only know Reggie Jackson is Mr. November. <laughs> Summers during the weekends, you have the smoker smoking a brisket and in the pool having fun. You miss summer. Can I, like, go to your pool? You look out, you wake up in the morning, you look out your window, you're like, why is someone in my pool? You get, you get closer. Is that Ashley? Hi, DeGroosh. As I sip my lemonade. Floyd around the pool. <laughs> Mr. November. Derek Jeter. Yep, Derek Jeter. Reggie looks unbelievably underwhelming. How does he compare to his 99 card last year? But also, we got that card right away, so. I'm playing you versus the CPU, but you become somebody oh, else around here. Everyone else. You're taking runs back. Now I can't relax. I try to be cool. Now I look like a fool on stream. Tell me. Why do you have to go make things so complicated? I see the way you're playing like you're somebody else gets me frustrated. Games like this, you, you won't fall at the wall. I might break and I'll take what you get, but you turn it into insanity and promise me I'm never going to find you winning. Eh, I guess. Yo, what's up, Victor? What's good? Counts one and oh. Of course, if you're in Southwest Texas, just let me know. Bet. I got you. Ooh, mini. That's gonna bloop for a hit. I love this mini Minoso card so much. The Green Bay Packers. Big Packers fan, Brady. Big Packers fan. What a win for the Atlanta Braves. Their first championship, who was at 1.44 and 45 prior to ending the season, is a strong point. Wait, their first championship? Isn't it their second championship since 95? 26 years in the making. Okay, you meant since their, their last one. Never mind. That already crosses lines. What? What's up, Moo Dog? How are you? Yeah, two titles. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all trying to confuse me? Come on, Yasmani. Yasmani! 
We're gonna send Minnie to third and he will get there safely. First and third, one out. Yeah, they have four all time. Does anyone know, uh, does anyone here know what MLB pitchers are right-handed because you want to use their pitch animation on Road to the Show? Which ones in particular? Like, do you have a couple in mind? And then I can tell you if they're righty or lefty. You've been playing the running back show on for a bit. Ooh, that's smart. Get those stubs. You grinded out 14 packs so far, getting ready for a big sale on Saturday after your show. I appreciate you, Rami. That's exciting. Wait, when you say big sale, do you mean like, are you streaming yourself? I would love to uh, stop on by. He's out. That's terrible. Yeah. That's terrible. Chris Martin became the sixth alumni athlete from your high school to win a sports championship, second for the MLB, first being Hunter Pence, 2012 and 2014. Exciting. You've played 115 games of Walter Johnson. He is P4. Wow, you, you'd think he'd be P5 by now. Still incredible. I don't know. I'm not yet P5 to pitcher. Lucas Giolito will be my first one. He's currently P4. I'm not sure what his stats are looking like right now in terms of games played. Grinding his parallels through Conquest. Smart, smart. I have my parallel team playing Conquest. They do quite well besides the first inning. They can't seem to get their oh, act one. together in the first inning. Quite sad, if you ask me. Is John Smoltz right-handed? Yes. Brady confirms. Nice swing and a miss for a strikeout. Needed that. Yo, I see that hydrated Red Sox guy. Get to that in one second. Right here. You have two RP, P5, Rivera, and O'Day. Yo, I don't want to face your bullpen in the late innings. No, thank you. I have Dennis Eckersley as P4, Rob Dibble's P4. I don't know if anyone else is. I could be wrong. I definitely don't have any P5s. Don't have any P5s. Oh, Dave's your dad. That's funny. <laughs> Kyle Schwarber's doing well, though, to lead off the top of the seconds. Well, stepdad. That's cool. That's cool. You're 700 points away from your 40th P5? Yo, you deserve a big old GG, Big Dale. I have like three, but I'm very close to um, like three to five more. It's tough though. It's tough. Oday's your favorite pitcher in the game. Respect. You're going to bring Oday in relief of Mad Bum. Is Mad, is Mad Bum uh, uh, DeGrush's dad and then Oday is the stepdad? Family, family, uh, you're stirring up the, the pot there, dude, Double. food, if you do that. Yeah, right, DeGrush? That's rude. 101 out of 130. Nice. Hugh, 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 hugh. That's mean. Mean. Rude food. Then they had to go through a juggernaut of a playoff. Get up the middle. Uh, run to eventually a World Series win, for sure. 52 speed. Are we safe at third base? Oh, no. Yes, we are. Let's go. Let's go. Otani's the only P5 pitcher, and that's only due to his uh, two-way ability. Hey, that is okay. Okay. Trey Turner! Get over the wall! fireworks 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 let's go what's up mario welcome on in he 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 when you playing 2k again weekend probably do you think it's gonna take 45 minutes to load into the first rec game i enjoy rec though it's very very fun and i really hope mlb gets like a sandlot co sandlot concept oh. like rec is to uh 2k am i excited to see journal of on sunday i am Disappointed about the circumstances, 100%. Hopefully everyone is feeling better soon. Uh, am excited for Jordan Love and this opportunity. Home run queen. I got you, D-Star. Excited to see how he does. Same. Use none of your four P5 starters in offline, online, or both. Or is it like once you P5 someone, you're done? Offline, definitely understand. Get new people in. Online, you gotta use those, you know? None? Interesting. <laughs> Red Rocks, anyone? KC has a bad defense, so I think he's going to play very well. Obviously, of course, he's got Jones and Dylan to help him out with the run game. It'll be exciting to see what he can do. You're awful with them? Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. That's because you don't play with them anymore. It's like the, the scene 
with uh, Andy and Woody. I don't want to play with you anymore. Am I? Have I not scored a run? Oh no, I did. I got the home run. Oof, I was nervous for a second. Cookie crisp. You're the only person with Degrom at six ERA. That's because everyone is understanding how how to hit him, kind of like Sixto Sanchez. He's out. Uh, but yeah, Lazard is back to you, right? Maybe you should pick him up. Yeah, um, he is back. And then Devonte Adams should be back tomorrow alongside Joe Barry. Yo, Packers is gifting a sub to Angel Packers. Thank you so much, Angel. Welcome on into the Sand Squad sub family. Make sure you give a big old thank you to Packers fan as you enjoy those emotes and sub badges. Packers, 183. That is a very large number and I really appreciate that. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Packers. As I give up a double off the wall. That's not a double off the wall. That's going to be a home run. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. What's up, Sally? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Sand Squad. This would be a fantastic we get Bakhtiari back, right? I don't think he'll be back until the Seahawks game, though. I, I could be wrong. Yo, Samurai with the 15-month resub. Let's go, see. B G Samurai. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome back on into the Sand Squad sub family. Keep on enjoying those emotes and sub badges. Thank you so much for the continued support. 15 months. That is absolutely incredible. I really appreciate you, Samurai. Thank you so much. Do I think baseball have a season next year? I do. Um, obviously, there's going to be a strike. I, I do think negotiations will be made. I do know we'll, we're going to have, I do think and predict we'll have a full baseball season. What's up, Peter? Welcome back on in. We're going to have to double team Travis Kelsey. Oh, for sure. Travis is a weapon. I'm sure they're going to prepare for it. Jansen or Goose? Um, I'm not really good with either. So it's really up to you. Goose, your shot tonight. Let's get it, Peter. Let's go. Very exciting. You hope so, but your team just won the World Series. GG's, Mario. You know what, derp dog? Shh. I mean, 162. And your buddy stream had a few errors on a Cardinals fans in this chat. Always oh, start the Lamar is better than the Kyler argument. People are just trying to stir the pot. And it's honestly so annoying. That, that's frustrating. I'm sorry to hear that for your friend. There's someone here who likes to stir the pot with a Brady versus Rogers. Harrison, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, come on, Minnie. One for one, one for two. Got him. We have what the Astros to play after this game, so we're almost done. Yay! I love ads. Want to know how you get rid of said ads? You know, you know, you you want to know, you you want to know, you got a you got a Twitch account, an Amazon Prime account. Sir, the pot in general. <laughs> If we want Roger Mahomes, look, we'll have to wait until the Super Bowl. Brady lost two Super Bowls. Rogers has never lost a Super Bowl. Boom. Roasted. Packers don't spend a lot of money. Pats and Bucks do. Tell Coach Ray and I have the game plan right here. Yes. She's aware. I think she actually just ran into my room when she heard that. Sell out Sanders? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we doing, DeGroosh? It's very awesome sports. Take it all in. I definitely did when the Bucks won the championship over the summer. It is such a fantastic feeling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. W-H-O-A. W-H-O-A. She didn't sell out. She bought in. She bought in. You want money for the 13 bucks a month? Well, that is Amazon Prime. But if you just want to straight up purchase a tier one sub, that is only $4.99 a month. So technically it is a better deal, especially if you don't use the other benefits of Amazon Prime to just normally sub, oh, if you wish, now. if you wish. But that's $4.99 a month, just so you're aware. We need you to get one of those Packers ownership certificates. Well, there's rumors that uh, they're gonna come out again. And yes, I'm prepared to possibly purchase one. And then I'll be a part owner of the Green Bay Packers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my name instead of Ashley underscore Sanders on Twitch. It's gonna be part-time owner of the Packers underscore Sanders on Twitch. <laughs> What's up, Brody? Welcome back. Let's have Rob Dibble finish this out. Oh, and one. Very nice. Yo! What's up, Goaty? How we doing? 
baseball for life. 100%. Football as well. That's three. Three one games in a row. Oh my god, you're right. Should be cheesehead underscore Sanders. Yes. Your friend is a huge Packers fan. He'll want one too. Yes. We just love 3 1 scores because we're, we're just showing our appreciation for 3 1 counts. <laughs> All ones that count. <laughs> then you can yell, I own you. Oh. Billy Wagner's not as good this year to last year. I've really come in contact with him a lot because I haven't really played ranked seasons a lot. That is awesome, sports. Very, very cool stuff. Dang it, Rob Dibble. You're a baseball fan from, from Slovakia. I think you mentioned it before. You watch the World Series at 1.15 in the morning. That is dedication. Awesome. You know who else loves 3-1 scores? Cleveland baseball. Oh, wait. So if that happened, you became part owner of the Packers. You would part own Rodgers. It means you will also part own the Bears. Yes. Yes. They are known to not spend much on the Revolution either, despite the season they just had. You faced Wagner one time and you lit him up. I would expect nothing less from you, Taco Cat. GG's. G to the G. To the G. To the Green Bay Packers, G. Bears fan confirmed. So, Groosh, what are we gonna do with you? What are, what, 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 what are we gonna do with you? Get there, get there, get there! Dang it! Come on, Dibble, finish this up. Dang it, Dibble! It's not what I wanted on an 0-2 count. Oh my god, Soriano! Sore play! You got Yankees and Bears. You're Dolphin fans, which are kind of sad to say. Y'all can be White Sox and Packers fans. I would be okay with that. Just accept me and my trolliness. I do, I do, I do. She's had with the eight-month resub in Jordan Love We Trust. 100% she said thank you so much and welcome back on into the sand squad sub family thank you so much for the continued support and keep on using those awesome sub badges and emotes i really appreciate that thank you so much i still have to figure what i want to do with sand squad sub family We'll figure it out, but it's still there. Thank you so much, she said. Idea, I buy a hat for every team and arrange them on the wall in a five by six grid. Each column is division and the hats are arranged based on standings. I like that idea. Wise man has a little, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know what I'm looking for, but it has like mini baseball caps and like this little thing and then does the same thing and posts updates to Discord. It's really, really fun. You went to the Vikings game last Sunday night. You hate to say they might only win six games this year. I don't mind that at all. Your daughter's favorite hoodie is a yellow Green Bay Packers hoodie we found at a yard sale. Let's get it! People typically don't mix in Wagner's offspin enough. You love him as a lefty in the pen. That is a good point. Without a sinker cutter, Wagner's nasty. Real hats, that'd be sick for sure. Okay, one more team. One more team in this conquest. So we got a little bit of both today. We got online action and offline action. Um, guess we'll just finish this out real quick i probably will have to surround this before we get to houston though so i don't lose my spot because that would be really sad can we can we come back and win this one dang it we can't true mario i play online we started online we started with the event i played five event games won three of them um but then i realized let's do this conquest because it shouldn't take very long it will it will bring us to the end of today's stream which is perfect timing the rest of the Viking schedule is rough. Sadly, I think two of your remaining three wins will be against my Bears. Oh, at least you admit it. We'll see what happens. I'm like so hungry right now. Sorry, that's like all I can think about. <laughs> you just started this conquest also? Let's get it. Let's get it. What's up, the goat? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Sand Squad. I just realized my alerts have not caught up on stream elements. I'm reading them through chat. There we go. There we go. That's what I needed. Good thing I didn't miss anything. Wait, did I lose that? Oh. Alright. Let's reinforce and start uh, making our way toward Houston. What's up, Logie Panda? How we doing? Hope all is well. Welcome back on in. If we split with the Vikings, you'll take it for sure. Honestly, winning this championship, you're probably celebrating all month and night. I don't blame you one bit. Soak it all in. Enjoy it all up. Absolutely. Yo, what's up, Zachy? How did I get to meet Carlos Rodon? Ah, did you see the picture on Instagram? 
Uh, the White Sox used to do a promotion. Um, it started in 20, what was that, 14, 15, 2014, 2014. Uh, that was called Selfie Sunday. Or was that 2015, 2016? I think it started 2014. Anywho, uh, they used to do a promotion called Selfie Sunday. Uh, so you'd be able to get to the game early on Sundays. Uh, before the game, you'd be sent to the, the warning track. And then five players would come out. You did not know beforehand. It was all random. Pick day of. Carlos Rodon was one of those players. So I got to meet him. And then I also met him again in St. Pete at Tropicana Field. Uh, we were able to talk. And he signed my picture from Selfie Sunday. And it was really cool because he really cared because he looked at the picture. I had braces in the picture. And then when I saw him at Tropicana Field, I, I no longer had my braces on. And he said, like, hey, look, no more braces. That's awesome. And it was really cool that like he didn't just sign the picture. He looked at the picture. He looked at me and really like comprehended the situation. And from a fan standpoint, for a player to take the time to not just like sign something, continue to the next, that was pretty, pretty neat. Pretty, pretty neat. No, Selfie Sunday was no autographs. Just pictures. Just pictures. Valencia! How we doing? But it was really, really cool. I, I'm a big fan of Carlos Rodon. Valencia. GG's, of course, to your Houston Astros. You are amazing. Your team is amazing. And they are not going away anytime soon. What a freaking force that team is. You saw the Nodi and was doing something else? Disrespectful. When you see the Nodi, you're supposed to drop everything and anything, and unless you're holding a baby or a kitten. And watch stream. Matthew with a six month resub. Matthew, thank you so much. And welcome back on into the Sand Squad sub family. Keep on enjoying those emotes and sub badges. And thank you so much for a half a freaking year. There it is. I appreciate you. It's okay, Valencia. I forgive you. I forgive you. Thank you so much, Matthew. I appreciate that. Your cousin moved to Arizona, so you can't wait to go visit and go to spring training next year. Yes! It's a goal of mine to visit us, to go to spring training. Camelback Ranch is where the White Sox play. They also play at the same place as the Dodgers. I would love to do that for sure. Valencia is here. Whoa, 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 Brady. Whoa, 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 whoa. No go bucks around here unless you're talking about the basketball team. But with that spelling, you're not. All right, one more game. Let's finish this off here. You clean off your patio, just have leaves wander back on tomorrow. Isn't that, doesn't that stink? Eating Panda Express, noise. Who's my favorite White Sox player? Lucas Giolito and Tim Anderson. Nice sports, hopefully he does for you. <gasps> Who is that? Hi, man, Momo. Come here, come here. You wanna say hi to chat? Raven's still hiding from Valencia. Why do I hate the Bucks? I mean, my Packers lost to them in the NFC Championship game. It's not gonna leave the, the sweetest of tastes in your mouth. Your favorite is Lucas too. Let's go. Are you a big White Sox fan, Zachy? I'm seeing if she's gonna oh if she's gonna God. come over here. Come here, my mama. Come here. She's just sitting and she's staring at me. I would stare at me too. No, I'm kidding. No, I don't want to swing at that. You met Lucas twice, he waved to you going back to the dugout. That's awesome. He's such a stand-up guy. He's amazing. The chicken and spicy beef is amazing. A panda? Oh, this fool who ran from Mayor NYC has 17 cats in his studio apartment. That's why he lost? I did not know that. What? That's mean. That's very mean. With that small space... Ooh, I don't like that at all. They're all rescue cats. I'm very glad they're rescues, but they, they deserve to have like a big space. You know what I'm saying? People are defending him. Cow goes moo. Moo moo is a little cow. Now she's just sitting on the chair next to me. One day, one day. Kids are being quiet, had to check out on them. They're both sleepy. Must have had a rough day. Oh no. That's exactly what you said. Bucks went on to win the Super Bowl and Tom Brady made history on top of that for sure. Cannot deny that. No, the fox goes ring a ding 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 ding. Exactly, Valencia. It's terrible. Like, the, the litter boxes would just take up the whole studio. The amount of litter boxes you need for 17 cats? How did I miss this story? Am I a White Sox fan? I'm a huge White Sox fan. I'm wearing the, the no-hitter t-shirt today. Yasmani! Stay in the air long enough to be a dinger, please, and thank you. It will be a double. I guess I'll take it. Has an elephant in a studio apartment? Wow. 
You ready for the year soon? People say, oh, you're a Bengals fan? Bandwagoner. Bandwagoner. I'd be like, shut up. Come on, Yaz. You're five speed. I need it. No, oh, that was Thanks. close. That's a close. Get rid of the bathroom and make it 18 boxes for extra space. Well, you're supposed to have um, uh, the amount of litter boxes of cats plus one. So if you have one cat, you should tightly have two litter boxes. If you have four cats, you should have five litter boxes. So you're not wrong, dude food. We have three litter boxes for three cats. So we do not follow the plus one rule, but we have like really large litter boxes and I clean them every single day. So I make sure that they are always nice and clean and useful for the kittens. He took one of the kittens to vote with him. They wouldn't let him. You would like to buy a White Sox shirt, but they're expensive from the MLB shop. For sure. I always try to catch them when they're on sale. You were actually wearing a Chicago-based shirt last night. In stream, a CM Punk shirt. We got to get you a CBG shirt, Taco Cats. Is Dude Food streaming? He better be. It's Chat Franchise Wednesday. Nope, that's off the plate. Ball Is Chris Middleton hurt on the Bucks? You, you asked this at the beginning of the stream, Red Sox guy. Unfortunately, he's not hurt. So fortunately, he's not hurt. But unfortunately, he does have COVID-19. Okay. White Sox rules. Let's get it. Ah, uh, three kitties, not 17. That makes more sense. Did you think I had 17 cats? Honestly, it might happen in the future. I wouldn't put it past me. But I would make sure they have a lot, a lot, a lot of space. You have to find the story and DM it to you. It's so ridiculous that you would laugh. Do it. DM me, text me, whatever. Let me let me see the story. Do I sell CBG jerseys? I do not. I, I need to find someone who can, like, make them. And I need, like, a proper CBG oh, logo. One. But hopefully very soon. Hopefully one day. You were by the Sox dugout and Yohan came out and signed a lot of autos, but you didn't end up getting his. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad he signed. I'm sorry that you didn't get one. An egg-eating snake. They kind of cute and they only go to two to three feet. Only to two to three feet. Do you have one, Derp? I had a friend who had snakes. I was like, no, thank you. Oh, someone had 17. Yeah, the, 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 the governor who ran for NYC had 17 cats. Get that Sanders 22 in the back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also that you're a cat person. You had a cat, a burgress for 20 plus years. He was the best. R.I.P. R.I.P. Indeed. Yeah, it, it was tough. I had a cat, Indy, who was supposed to live a whole lot longer. He was 12 or 13. And uh, we found he wasn't doing so well for a couple of days. We took him to the vets and they found a pretty pretty big mast and we had to put him down the next day it was it was rough it was rough i i took that really really hard i was not a fun or happy person to be around for a couple of days there <clears throat> you mean a candidate you got smoked like kansas city barbecue yeah Cindy crosby too i heard that When you get your new apartment in summer, you may get the snake. We have a neighbor. We have neighborhood feral cats who we feed. They have their own community, and FT Arms said people take them food. Glad you're all taking care of them. Yeah, it, it's very hard with feral cats because there's the idea of trapping them, but like once they're feral, they really can't become domesticated. So you just want to make sure you take care of them, you know. Put his dog down seven years old. That sucks. It sucks so badly. Well, that's insane. Yeah, Saquon too. You had a cat in mouth cancer, so we had to put her down. It's it's terrible. It's terrible. The things that can oh, lead to death bad. and how no one deserves it. Or animal. Hey. Have a studio right now, but summer you can upgrade to a one bedroom. Let's get it. My throat is really dry. I don't know why. Two strikes. Spine cancer ten days later she was gone. That sucks. Cancer sucks. Okay, what kind of blue pit is that? Oh no! What? Matt! What? Oh my god, I hate this game. No, I hate this game. T Red with the hydrate and bunk. I'll honor them both. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Wait, are you playing with your brother? Yo, what's up, awesome Unk? Welcome on in! No, I am not. But Matt Kemp is in right field, and, and he left me down. It let me down on that play. Well, come on in. I appreciate you being here. There are two strays in your backyard called the shelter. They loan out for traps for a one hundred dollar deposit. That's actually not too shabby. Obviously, they gotta pay for to earn. But yeah. 
Hey, when that happens to you, it was unfortunate. It was unfortunate. What is going on, Lucas? You're looking like your 2018 self, my guy. Get strode. No, you're good, Bunk. You're good. Do I live in Chicago? I live in the Chicagoland area. Glad to be here. Glad he told me about your streams. Well, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Uh, I'm sure we'll be streaming Mario Party soon. Uh, we've been playing off stream together. Uh, he, myself, and our other two siblings. It's been really, really fun. Uh, we will be streaming that soon. We'll definitely get a uh, fam squad stream going with all four of us. And I'm very excited about that. Live 30 miles south of Chicago. Nice. Lives in the Chicagoland area is a Packers fan. Hey, NFL is my first true professional sports love. And I got roots in Wisconsin. I got no roots. Y'all know that song? Okay, I think we're going to have to take Lucas out of the game. Uh, the Astros are hitting him pretty rough right now. He caused me to spend money. Oh, did you get Mario Party? We shall have to play. We shall have to play. Your family lives in the suburbs outside of Chicago. Think about doing your masters out there. Yes. Then we go to a White Sox game. Sam Squad meetup. Guaranteed right field. Let's happen. At least the Packers can play. Bears are horrible. You know, but your Bears fan feels like you have to throw in a little shade. No, I know. I know you do. I know. I know. Justin Fields, though. He's awesome. I did get Mario Party. Yes. What do I think about Aaron Rodgers? I am very, very, very frustrated. One and one. He knew exactly what he was doing when he answered to that question on his vaccination status in the beginning of August. To wordplay, are you kidding me? To, I don't know why this happened. To wordplay a vaccination answer, in my opinion, is terrible. Apparently, according to LaFleur, according to Ian Rappaport, his teammates were aware of his status, obviously. Everyone outside of that building was deceived. In my opinion, it's not a joking matter. It's not an opinion to just, it's not a, um, it's, it shouldn't be something you deceive others. You either answered yes or no. I would have had a lot more respect had he answered no than what he's doing right now. I, I personally am very, very disappointed. I would be, I'm still interested to hear what he's going to say in the post-game conference or post-game conference in a press conference. Once, of course, I do wish him to be healthy. I never want anyone to contract an illness. Um, but I'm, I'm very disappointed. I'm, I'm very disappointed it's to say the least. You don't joke about something like that, especially when your teammate Aaron Jones lost his father to COVID. One ball, two strikes to count. Not to mind you, the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who have lost their lives to COVID-19 and to have that kind of answer. And he knew what he was doing. It's Ow. terrible. It's terrible. No, he's in there. Yeah, he said, he said word for word, yeah, I'm immunized. The question was, are you vaccinated? He said, yeah, I'm immunized. Which... Go through the dictionary definition of what it means to be immunized. Go through the dictionary dictionary definition of what it means to say, yeah. And then continue to talk about other people who are not vaccinated in the club. It's, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Exactly, Zachy. We say that commercial all the time. I've said it like three times today. It's great. And Lucas really is stinking right now, which is unfortunate. But yeah. That being said, we definitely let's go Andrew Miller here. Even though it's against a righty. Okay, I know I'm, I, let me I catch up real quick. I know I'm behind. No, I, I am not a Chicago Blackhawks fan. Um, I have completely dissociated myself from them. I'm very, very angry with how they handled uh the 10 year situation. And I, I I no longer consider myself a fan of that franchise. Big Preds fan now. Now nah, I'm just a free agent. I'm just I'm just a free agent in the hockey world. Free agent. Yo, what's up, Dale? Or is that Dow? Is that... I don't know if those are two L's or two I's on my end. So Mighty J, thank you. Welcome on in. Hope we're doing well. Oh yeah, Valencia. I just saw that the other day. And like WTF is wrong with people. You know what I'm saying? Kraken fan incoming. I wouldn't put it past me, B-Dub. They're a fun, exciting team. Either them or the Golden Knights. Both are fun and exciting. Could join the Kraken. Brand new franchise. No history. Can't call me a bandwagon. 
Oh yeah, and unfortunately, unfortunately, you can't fix stupid. Be CBJ fan. I was when Artemi Panarin was on the squad. Um, I, I do follow the Rangers very, very loosely because of Artemi Panarin. I'm a big fan of Panarin. Join the Hurricanes. But yeah, wanna fight that guy? Yeah. You're from Seattle, so you're excited to have NHL here. That's awesome. I'm excited for you. Very excited for you. You said join me being a Hurricanes fan, but you might get the bandwagon or stuff. No, no, no. I'm just going to take hockey off. I, I've really enjoyed getting back into the NBA. One and one. We'll see if I ever get back into the, into the NHL. Right now, I'm, I'm not too upset about not being into it. True, Bunk. So much messed up. You're telling me. <laughs> Which you grew up a hockey fan, but nobody in your family watched it. Yeah, I found hockey on my own. Enjoyed it, of course, throughout the tainted dynasty. Does not like torts. <laughs> Going back into the enemy after Bucks win, it's all okay. Bandwagoner. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got back into them two years right, right at the start of the pandemic during the bubble, and I appreciate that. Mickey Mantle ties it up. During the Caps championship run. Mini Minoso time. Love the Flyers are so good. Nice, nice. I said what I said. Says Punk. Get through, get through, get through. It won't, but should be. Oh. In out. Thought he might beat it out for an infield single. Don't have a team in Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people native to Baltimore cling to DC for hockey. Robo! <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Dang it, yes. That was that was Apo Taco home run territory. Other caps are flyers. Yeah, yeah, flyers make sense as well, geographically. It's not about the Blackhawks, though. You watch Kyle Beach play in Everett during his WHL days all the time. You're only a, a Golden Knights fan because of the V on the unis. V for Valencia, right? That's what you think? Yep, Blake Bortles will be the backup on Sunday. I'm very excited to see what Jordan Love uh, has in store for us. Hard to find a V anything true. You're a Boston Bruins fan, used to be a Flyers fan. Ooh, what caused the change? You have a Golden Knights cap just for that reason. I love that for you, Valencia. That's iconic. That's I love that so much. V for very beast. That also works. Thank you for mentioning that, Strum. Bistro35 would be very happy. Full count for Yasmani Grandal. Getting better. Always nice to see uh, getting better, some improvement. We gotta, we gotta win this game here. Stream's gotta be over. My stomach is grumbling. I need a snack before dinner. I missed a very hittable slider. Alright. Let's push this to the third inning. If Jordan Love doesn't try to do too much, I think he'll be fine. I agree. I agree. He's gotta stick to the game plan. Trust his talent, his skills, and then trust his teammates. And I think he's capable of doing that. Hi, ironic that... My show's World Series cap arrived the day after they lost. That was like the White Sox. Um, the day after, like two days after they got eliminated from your Strohs, all like the postseason gear came in for White Sox fans. It's so ironic. You had Taco Bell for lunch? Hey, that tracks, Taco Cat. That tracks. I actually need to change up this bullpen just a little bit for the parallel squad. There's some cards that are missing. They are not. They are not very swift. Dang it. Got a young court. Why aren't you throwing the baseball? I told you to throw the baseball. Too hungry. I can't think. I think it's going to happen. Um. Well, let me try to win this game first. Never mind. I need, I need to win this game first. That's that, that, that's what needs to happen. What's up, Dizon? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Sand Squad. Hope you're doing well. You were getting World Series champ stuff for four months, dang. That's crazy. That's out. With only one touchdown last night. I saw that on Twitter yesterday. I did think that was pretty funny. Hello, hello. What's up, Dizon? Please correct me if the pronunciation is wrong. Want to show the utmost respect to your name? Oh, have some pizza rolls, snack at champions. Oh, I, I have like a distinct memory of going to my cousin's house and having pizza rolls. It was a very good time. Very good time. Get there, get there, Yasmani! I need you to catch that, sir! No excuses. Dang it. Did that have any Tom Grassi's tweet? I don't think 
so. Maybe it was, though. Maybe he retweeted it. Maybe. Pizza rolls with ranch? I've never had ranch with pizza rolls. I'm not a ranch person. Don't fight me, okay? Don't fight me. The ranch? The heck? <laughs> Terp die! That was funny. That was really funny. What? We walked him? You can tell I'm really hungry. I'm not playing very well right now. Please make the catch, Alfonso. Thank you very much. Ranch is nasty, says Valencia. She ain't wrong. Not a ranch person fighting words. Shh. Tom Grassley definitely tweeted that comment, but I'm sure a lot of football fans made that joke. Very, very true. Stomach and brain need food. They really do. They're struggling right now. Your mom got the job in San Francisco. Yo, that's awesome, Red Sox guy. Nice. Blue cheese is greater than ranch. I think both of them stink. Ball, Eat right. food. Yes. Not a ranch person in the Midwest. Oof. I know. I know. I know. I just belong on my li my own little island of weirdness. And it's okay. It's okay. I I respect it, you know? Yo, leave for Wisconsin a week from tomorrow. Let's go, Puerto. Let's go. You had Chick-fil-A today. They messed up your order and you had to go back. So I don't go to Chick-fil-A. Amongst many other reasons. Kyle, I need that to stretch even though it won't. Dang it. Hoping he's good for the game against the Hawks. I sure hope so, too. I sure hope so, too. I just wanted to get healthy, you know? Regardless of his response to the answer, I always want everyone to get healthy when they contract an illness. Major donation. You tried the only oh, diamonds PCI and you suck with it? It's all good. At least you tried it and now you know. You know, now you know. Trial and error. Gotta happen sometimes. Wow, what a snag. We're gonna have to go to extra innings. Ashley doesn't like blue cheese. Unfollow, unsub. Have a great life. P.S. White socks smells like moldy socks. I'm gonna go quiet. <laughs> when you get CFA, why would you eat blue cheese? It's mold. Valencia, this is why you're here, and I love you. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> GG's, says Mr. Basic Chip. <laughs> All right, let's try to force extra innings here. I need to get off. I need to feed the cats. I need to have a quick snack before dinner because your girl is hungry. Blue cheese is amazing, says the Grouche. Bleh. Says Valencia. Mini Minoso. What's for dinner today? I don't know. I think we're having chicken, mashed potatoes, and a veggie. If I'm not mistaken. I'm very much looking forward to the match. No, Matt Kemp, you saw oh my God. How does that happen? Jesus. No, Twice. In Twice. In this game. It's a perfect throw home. A shallow fly ball. If he goes, he's out. He's out. Extra innings. Here we come. Oh my goodness gracious, you love mashed potatoes. Me too. That's why I love Thanksgiving food, you know? You eat all kinds of crazy stuff. Breathe. Guardy Parallels and CPU currently winning 20 0 top four. Let's go. I've beaten, I think my record is a 39 or 40, 40 nothing dub. You may have chicken too. Chicken's good stuff. That was obviously not going to get caught, but my base runner decided not to run. Cooking tuna casserole. I've never had tuna casserole. You had this blue cheese in Madrid. It was nothing like our blue cheese. It was amazing, though. Ooh, I'm glad it was good. One oh. Did you not grow up having mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving? Always thought that was weird. No, I did. I did. I, mashed potatoes is my favorite uh, food of Thanksgiving. That and the rolls. All the carbs. All the carbs on Thanksgiving. But we also have, like, mashed potatoes outside of Thanksgiving, which I appreciate it. You didn't? Wait, you didn't have mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving? Oh, that's just out. Mashed potatoes, and mashed potatoes and rolls are truly the best, right? Right, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. What did you have? Just basically everything traditional besides mashed potatoes? Yo, I got you, Godi. I got you. Alfonso Soriano, baby. Let's freaking go. Sweet potatoes. Okay, okay. That sounds like a crime. That's what I'm saying, Air. Is this legend? It is not legend. Uh, just all-star, just for a chill day. Uh, let's bring in Tommy Edvin. Your sister-in-law married a dude from Iraq, and he brings some ethnic Arabic food to Thanksgiving. It's so good. That's awesome. 
um uh what was i gonna say my calculus teacher from high school she's half iranian and she always talks about uh dishes and i'm like can you please bring some to class i mean obviously i'm not in her class anymore tommy edmund gets freaking robbed over here who's that kyle tucker disrespectful disrespectful and like i would always like salvate in the middle of class it was awesome Turkey dressing, sweet potatoes, and many veggies. Oh, you call stuffing dressing? I think that's weird. I think that's weird. When people call stuffing dressing. I think I figured that out like when I was like 10 to 12. I was like, wait, people call stuffing dressing? They're not the same. They're not? Oh, oh okay, okay. Maybe I'm wrong because I was taught they were the same, just different word. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. You love stuffing, right? Dressing isn't stuffing. So then what is it? But yeah, I love stuffing too. It's good. What camera angle should you use? Strike Zone or the Show 16? I personally use Strike Zone and I enjoy it. I don't think I've ever used the Show 16 view. Yo, welcome in and call me Ninja. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. It's corn red dressing. Oh. Oh. Can you please... Can I go to your house on Thanksgiving? Dressing isn't stuffing, but stuffing is dressing. I can get behind that. When did I unlock Mickey Mantle? Oh my goodness. Uh, he was, I think, the first or... S he was the second TA4 card I unlocked uh, behind Frank Thomas uh, on the day that TA4 came out. I don't remember what day that was. They might win this Sunday. Hey. Jordan Love season. Dressing equals cornbread. Stuffing equals white bread. Bet. I, I, would really, I would really like to eat that. And now I'm like, oh my god, my stomach is grumbling, Valencia. And you don't stuff the bird with the dressing? Yeah, we don't stuff it either with stuffing. I mean, it's just, I just think that's... Mm, no. You can say that any team might win any week, though. True, 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 true. Like, Bortles season, you mean? No, Jordan Love is the official starter. Bortles, Bortles is, the, is the backup. I forgot about your stomach. It's grumbling. The mic can't pick it up, fortunately, but it's grumbling. I had leftover pasta for lunch today, but we didn't have a lot left over. It was maybe, like, ten bites. I should have had something else. Disappointing. No, I, I literally listened to the Matt LaFleur press conference. It, Jordan Love is starting. Big strikeout. Your family stuffs the bird with the stuffing and cooks it inside the bird. Interesting. What about giblets? What about them? That's way to do it. Backwards K. Vegan loaf for Thanksgiving? Let's go. Let's go. Yo, what's up, Zipper Path? Yo, no worries, Ooplies. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. The game went to extras, but now it's over. My favorite team? Huge White Sox fan. Huge White Sox fan. Rips out of the inside stuff. We just get like a small little turkey. We don't get like a full whatever. I don't know. Turkey and chicken is, is really it for me. One day, one day I would like to consider myself a full vegetarian. Still on chicken. Would love to find a substitute. <gasps> there it is! There Alfonso Soriano P5, welcome on in. Let's go. That's how you end the stream. Let's go. Because I have to go, I gotta go feed the cats. I will finish this off stream or right before stream on uh, what's the word like for Friday. I will finish that. Oh my goodness, let's freaking go. Alfonso, thank you for coming to the P5 club we're gonna put in someone else for you that will be i think mookie betts i want to have him parallel next let's go rye bread with the host the raid thank you so much rye bread welcome on in good to know Bron. i will definitely look into that oh my goodness what a stream what a stream see you next time rodney everyone thank you so much for watching i appreciate all of you we wanted to get alfonso soriano to p5 we got alfonso soriano to p5 so freaking exciting i will see you all normal time on friday one o'clock central time to four o'clock central time um the new event should be out so i would very much um like to play that I think the new BR program comes out next week, so that's going to be exciting. In the meantime, I'll get a raid going for everyone. I would really appreciate it if you don't spoil the raid, but enjoy the raid. I'll catch you all Friday afternoon. Let me just see who is on real quick.
And I do have an idea. I have a couple ideas, actually. Ooh, ooh, wait, so many ideas, so many ideas. Let's do it, let's do it. We recently raided him, but John Bear is just an absolute goat. We're gonna go send another one over there. Everyone, please don't spoil it. Enjoy John Bear's stream. It's always a fun time over there. I appreciate you all so very, very much. You are welcome, Snrub. Absolutely, D-Star. You have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you all so very much for watching. As always, please be safe and healthy, especially during this time. And don't forget to be kind. I'll catch you all Friday afternoon. Finish the week strong. And I'm going to go eat because I'm starving. <laughs> And feed the cats, of course. But see you all later. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Congratulations to the Atlanta Braves.